Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Don't you stop him. He's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Three guys and a bear are going to Wembley really? to root for the Jags. Yeah. First <laughs> victory. That was actually the uh, the emergency sirens that the Bears and Broncos play this week. So they're just letting us all know. Is a tornado uh, we'll, warning? We'll get, we'll get to that. We'll Disaster get to that. alert! Uh, warning! Warning! <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Uh, man, we are already uh, going week three to four here. Yes, sir. For some football, oh, and man, oh, it is boy. it is getting a little crazy out there. Let me tell you. Oh yeah. yeah. Up week of football coach good god historic. yeah it is actually historic that's true <laughs> um so first we have some big jets news Eiling. oh uh, yeah 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 i am trevor I that, that is simeon semen demon semen demon mm-hmm. is returned to the jets quarterback room yes. wow. they got their guy they got they got the semen demon they, they, they got the worst guy <laughs> they could have got of all the uh, options. <laughs> you know that's a you know that's a great point, Apollo. And I would say <laughs> that I think our GM and uh, head coach don't really know what a quarterback is, and I think that's what the problem uh, actually is mm. over the Jets building is they're not really certain. But he has it's played for us to ask him that in the presser. Like, are you sure you're aware of what the quarterback <laughs> position is? I mean, should we just start with our Jets? Because, like, I have so much to say <laughs> about <laughs> the Jets. Right, so let me break down a little Trevor Simeon's stats. Back uh, in 2016, yeah, he yeah. played 14 games for the Broncos, 18 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 3,400 yards. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Uh, 2017, 2,300 yards, 12 TDs, 14 interceptions yeah. in the 11 games. Not as good. Not as uh, Then he went to the Jets. 0 and 1, 3 of 6 passing, 3 yards. Yep. Yep. That was it's, uh, impressive more... <laughs> to average 1 yard per completion. That, is, <laughs> that takes some effort. Yep. That's more yards than Aaron Rodgers got. So that's hey. true. That's... It's not wrong. <laughs> not uh, that many <laughs> less than uh, Zach Wilson has. Right. Yep. <laughs> uh, then he went to the Saints in 2021, 1,100 yards, 11 TDs, 3 interceptions. That's pretty good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. yeah. Impressive. And then he went to the Bears in 2022, uh, 184 yards, one TD, one pick in two games. So, I mean, he's probably better than Zach Wilson. So that's good. I think my grandmother is no problem. His feet under the ground (laughs) is better than Zach. (laughs) That's also true. Yeah. The, the, I feel like we were hoodwinked, like straight up, like, I, 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 cause I feel like I had this thought and I feel like probably a lot of people had this thought. Where when Zach Wilson came back, I think we all just kind of forgot. Like, you know, Daenerys kind of forgot about mm-hmm. the Iron Fleet. We all kind of forgot about Zach Wilson. Because even yeah. I was like, you know, maybe, maybe you know, Aaron Rodgers <laughs> training camp. Yeah. Like, maybe he won't be the worst quarterback of all time. Yeah, like, yeah. maybe he I had that we, And then here we are again going, this is the worst quarterback of all time. Like, it doesn't get yeah. worse than this. <laughs> Have you guys seen uh, Zach Wilson's stats next to uh, Jamarcus Russell's? I haven't, oh, but I imagine oh, they're very similar. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, because I got it saved. Just for... Just for... <laughs> Cause he's a okay, master. Great. Yeah, just, just yep. for this uh, type, of, type of situation. All right, Jamarcus Russell across three seasons. 25 starts, 18 touchdowns, 23 interceptions, 52 completion percentage, 65 QB rating. Not good. Zach Wilson. Three seasons, 24 starts, 17 touchdowns, 22 interceptions, 55 completion percentage, 69 QB rating. Well, first Literally. of all, nice. Second of all, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. 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 It's it's almost exactly Jamarcus Russell. Like, that's wild. no joke. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's, it's, that's bad. To, yeah. I was, like, watching him play. He just, like, I don't, he just doesn't throw the ball. Like, yeah. I don't know if he's yeah. like scared of throwing interceptions. 
But like the amount of times that he just kind of stood there, like he's not even trying to move around or like, it just kind of seems lost. I think the the game or the the play last week that demonstrates Zach Wilson as a QB for the New York <laughs> yeah. best. Oh, well, no, I'm not talking about that one yet. I'm actually oh, talking okay. about, we we'll get multiples. there. Cause, oh yeah. <laughs> There's more than no. one. Yeah. But the play that I'm talking about actually was on the first drive. Uh, he comes out. We got the 40 second game clock. He's going, uh, you know, alert, alert, uh, red, red velvet or some fucking <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and he's screaming that out. Get down to one second, snaps the ball. And, uh, and we learn that he is checked to a running play. However, this running play goes to the right side where we have two offensive linemen compared to the four on the left side hmm, man. and uh they have six defenders Ooh. so he checks from whatever the fuck play uh you know what's his face called shit boy <laughs> yep. Marco man whatever who the fuck he is <laughs> oh uh hack it yep so he checks there from that go. into a run to the right and it, it, obviously it gets blown up immediately and, and tony romo is just making fun of him in the in the booth <laughs> and it's just like <laughs> I, I just, I can't, I, I, uh, you know, yeah. And you know, by the way, the fact that they're getting the semen demon, mm. keep in mind, this is due to public fan pressure being like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? Are you out of your goddamn mind? But Joe Namath called him dog shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had to have everyone in the fucking world go like, what are you, what is wrong with you people for them to be like, oh, okay, fine. I guess we'll pick up a QB. Like what the fuck kind of game are they playing? <laughs> Seriously, the Jets every year, it's like, 31 teams are playing football and the Jets are playing, we're playing the Judah the duty ball and we're going to uh, scoot, scoot the ball around the field. Ooh, they're hitting us. What are they doing that for? I don't know what's going on. This, you know, this is like exploding out of him like a parasite. Like, <laughs> yeah, this well, is... it was it was upsetting me because yeah. like Zach Wilson is bad. We've seen bad quarterbacks before, yeah. but, but like the weird attitude that the coach like I get you want to keep yeah. your confidence in the guy that you're starting, yeah. but if you haven't made the decision to not start this guy two games ago, yeah. what is wrong with you? I actually, how, how, uh, yeah. I was listening to Rex Ryan talk about this, <laughs> and he was like, no, I'd tell you right now, I'd say, listen, our quarterback's not very good, so we're going <laughs> to run the ball and we're going to play defense because that's the only thing we're good at. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Jets, if you want to hire me, I'll come back for $5 million. Dude, I actually am down. I like out of anything okay, but... else, like I'm actually down. It, it's been hell since Rex left. Yeah, but he's not um, wrong. Like, why aren't they running the ball more? That's that's literally actually what got us the conference championship twice. Because that's what happened with Mark Sanchez. Mark Sanchez came. He was the fifth overall pick. Yeah, yeah he, he wasn't very good. He wasn't as bad as Zach Wilson. I'll tell you that. But he wasn't <laughs> yeah, very no. good. Um, and that was the whole thing in the hard knocks in 2008 and the. And, you know, for the two years is Rex Ryan going ground and pound, baby. We're doing ground and pound. And you know what? We were grounding them and pounding them. And it was good. It worked. Uh, but, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, but yes, to, to Apollo's point, it, if you're a GM for 31 other teams and your superstar QB that you picked up in the offseason goes down with a season ending, possibly career ending injury, are you not immediately on the phone to like, I don't know, every team and maybe every fucking free agent QB saying, well, hey, come in the building. Let's have a talk. Let's, yeah, let's I, you know, like, wouldn't wouldn't that be the first fucking thing you do instead of maybe waiting until week three, repeatedly going into press conferences and be like, no, Zach Wilson gives us our best chance to win. <laughs> like, d does it, I mean, because otherwise you look like absolute goddamn fools. In front of every everyone, literally everyone, no one, no one, no one besides Joe Douglas and uh, Robert Sala have believed in Zach Wilson for the past three weeks. I don't even think Zach Wilson's mother. Zach Wilson's mother called up the facility and she was like, "Hey guys, listen. I'm, I mean, I think it's it's a little obvious at this point. Maybe well, you, should sit you, down. you start to feel bad, don't you? Because like yeah. this is relentless shitting on Zach Wilson, and it's 
like correct but at this point it's like <laughs> we know already like this, this is, is yeah. old hat. It's not it's not his fault they are keeping no. him in yeah. no it's not it's not. malpractice <laughs> it really is like, his offensive line is really bad Oh this, yeah. I mean, and Nathaniel Hackett isn't an OC. He yeah. literally was was there to he was brought here to blow Rogers, and now Rogers yeah. is in the hospital, so he can't blow anyone. He has to go to the hospital uh... to blow him. He can't even be on <laughs> yeah. the field anymore. Yeah, and, he's out uh, in California. I'm not How's he lie? Do that? The more I watch the new Packer offense, the more I'm seeing how Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur like collide. <laughs> Because there's shit mm -hmm. where I'm like, oh my god, like Matt Lafleur's drawing up insane plays. Why didn't we do that? I'm like, oh yeah, Aaron Rodgers was like, yeah, I'm an audible out. <laughs> right. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. on, but still, they're probably better off just having Aaron Rodgers call the plays for the Jets at this point. Like that's what we were hoping would happen, but he's still in California, you know, healing. So yeah. well, in, a, in this hyperbolic <laughs> chamber that he's, right. he's going to be back in, like before the playoffs <laughs> yeah. or some shit. Like, oh, geez, yeah. he must be. Can you imagine him? He must be <laughs> like pure darkness. Oh, Forget 100%. the darkness retreat. He's. He was does not reflect light anymore. <laughs> like, he, uh, he actually spoke a couple hours ago on the Pat McAfee show, and he said, quote, let's stand behind our guys. Let's support our guys on the field. Doesn't matter if you think Zach Wilson and the Jets deserve booze. Booing accomplishes nothing. Oh, uh, you're I don't know about uh, that. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's going to go over that. great with Jets fans. Yeah, yeah you, you remember what that. I said last week? <laughs> remember what I said? This is step one. Here's phase one. Yep. This yeah. is <laughs> Rogers does not understand the kind of hate and vitriol that this city can put out, especially after 14 straight years of pure misery. It's going to Behind the Vikings, dude. A coach. It's happening. Yeah. The I mean, I, I, he, they're going to be like Kirk Cousins for Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> No, seriously, <laughs> it is actually, it seems like it is. It's hilarious. You, you know what's annoying is that they're going to, that you know they're going to put like regardless of what Simeon does they're going to put Zach Wilson out there again next week oh yeah, oh, yeah. Like, He's they're not going to do it like I don't know why teams do this it's same thing happened with Trubisky last year and the Steelers it's like they have to throw them out there and get booed for like a quarter before they're like okay fine here you can like you <laughs> know it, it's gonna happen exactly like this all right the yeah. second simeon's ready they're gonna start zach wilson he's gonna play like a quarter and a half he's gonna get booed after the fifth third and out and then they're gonna bring in simeon everyone's gonna cheer and it's like you could have done this at the start of the game <laughs> yeah what is this yep. like sentimental attachment you have to zach wilson I, I really, I, I saw someone on Reddit. Know. Is he fucking all of their moms? Like, what <laughs> yeah, is might happening? Be, to be honest, <laughs> no, I, no. Actually, like, it's it's to the point of absurdity how much they are devoted to him at this point. And I, and I don't really don't know. Like the, I, I mentioned this in our Discord chat, but uh, if you want to get slightly conspiratorial, Zach Wilson's uncle is the CEO of JetBlue, which well, he's Woody, big money, yeah, yeah, uh, and Woody Johnson has a stake in JetBlue, uh, so. Yes. Maybe that's the reason, but because otherwise it really seriously, it, it boggles the mind. I mean, as even to why... uh, like Rex Ryan was saying it too. I think he's Stephen A. Smith. They're all talking, but he was just like last year. They were, the team was like, get this guy out of here. They had Mike White season shirts. They're like, yeah, Mike yeah. White, let's go. And then they're like, oh, we got rid of him. Yes. <laughs> no. And, and that's, that's the other thing about it being like legitimate roster malpractice is this is the same thing that happened last season. We, oh, a QB got injured. Couldn't have seen that coming. Never happened to us before where we had to trade mid season for Joe, the elite dragon fucking Flacco. But instead, we go into the season with a 40 year old QB who we've rested our entire entire franchise hopes in and then the guy backing him up is uh uh, uh a fucking paper clip and some bubble gum i think maybe some pocket lint like seriously what what it's roster malpractice you did like Minshew was available even wentz was available in the office Minshew yeah. looked good Trevor, this week too. He did. yes <laughs> I mean, you could have had Dobbs. Look at Dobbs out. In, I mean, look at Sam yeah. Howell and, and Washington. It's it's a joke. Other QBs are not this level of bad. A any other QB is not this level of bad. They should, so, like, legit just call the Bears and be like, can we just have Justin Fields, like, run around or something? Yeah. Like, it'd probably be better. Well, I, mean, I mean, you know, that... you can look at the 49ers. The 49ers, they had Trey Lance, same amount of time, and they were ready to drop him for fucking Mr. Irrelevant. <laughs> but we get Aaron Rodgers and we're like, no, you know what? Let's keep Zach Wilson around. I think he might pick himself up. What are you out of your fucking mind? 
There was also that that Cowboys backup who went to the Patriots practice squad or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There, oh, yeah. yeah, it's there's it's also insane. Mike White, Mike White, a yeah. the one you talent. already had, and like. <laughs> Maybe okay. Here's here's what they're doing. The Jets they're playing seventy three D chess. All right, that's they're true. like Ooh, yeah. we can't get Kirk Cousins yet. But if we let the Vikings lose right. a couple yeah. more, then we can get Kirk Cousins. They'll be more yeah. desperate. It's then. true. Yeah, they got a Spider Queen. So <laughs> they got a Spider yeah. Queen. They got a spider queen. Uh, fun yep. fact: uh, from the two thousand twenty one NFL Draft quarterback class, the yeah. two best quarterbacks are Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones, and they're not like great yeah. they're not like no, how they're like yeah, this yeah. guy's to be peyton manning 2.0 or whatever it's just yeah. they actually have very similar stats mag jones and trevor lawrence and then trey they're lance justin field mean. zach wilson yeah 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 no uh, it, it, it honestly is now in retrospect looking like a very poor qb qb class which is funny because i remember at the time people were calling it like you know, one of the best one in years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, the 2020 quarterback class is looking pretty good. You had Joe Burrow, Tua, Justin Herbert, Jordan Love, and Jalen Hurts. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, those are all some <laughs> of the best quarterbacks. In the They're all right starters, yeah. and a lot of them are very, very good. Like top yeah. five guys. They very much are. Uh, so Jets lost, but here's the thing: despite everything we just talked about the yeah. jets threw a hail mary and could have won but yep uh, randall cobb slipped and couldn't catch the end zone bob yeah yeah so yeah <laughs> yep it, played uh, out, it actually played out exactly as i predicted in the <laughs> in the discord too uh you know they, they give you some hope up until the last moment and then oh uh, yeah, yeah and then rob it away from you Yep. Uh, I, I've, I've seen this Jets game a million times. I know exactly how it goes every time. I I do want to like, I feel like this was inevitable because as bad as Zach Wilson is, yep. as, yep. as awful as the coaching decisions have been, the somehow worse thing about the Jets is the offensive line still. Like yeah, it's pretty bad. Rogers bad. was gonna get injured. Like, yeah, he just was. Like, this line can't. Like, Rogers likes to hold on to the ball. You put him behind a line that sucks shit. It was gonna happen. Yeah. This was they, this was foretold. They, they actually got pressured did, every play. They they did change the lineup for this game. Actually, they benched Dwayne Brown, which thank God because he was horrible. Uh, <laughs> he was getting blown out on every play. Mackay Beckton moved back over to left tackle, and we got another guy in, but. uh Oh, you actually bench your players that do bad. We we draft their replacements <laughs> oh, and then let I them sit on the bench. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasn't Dwayne yeah. Brown good? Is he just old now? He's old. Yeah. Uh, it, it was. It, it was. You know. It, it, he's. Yeah. It, it, and also, our team is shitty. I mean, that's the other. Thing, to be totally honest. Oh, apparently, like, uh, no. Dwayne Brown's on the IR with a hip injury now. Oh yeah. Well, rip. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There he goes. Um, yeah. So yeah, this was uh this was a Jets game, Patriots, the classic Patriots. Oh yeah, game. the game itself was fucking boring and useless. Yeah. Like we were just all so the other horrible. stuff was, was fun to yeah. talk about. See, and you know this is so. Let me let me one parting note for uh for the Jets right. organization. We definitely have Woody, to move on. It's been twenty yeah, minutes of Jets. Sorry, Woody Johnson, <laughs> if you hear me, uh, when you fire these people, which you will by the end of the year, I'm sure, <laughs> uh, perhaps halfway through, um. Please, for the love of God, for the love of God, look around the NFL and see how many defensive coaches are are hired to teams. What are there? Two of them? Yeah. Everyone the, else. The Bears got one. Yeah. Oh, oh no. yeah. That's working out great. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, wait, wait. Isn't there Todd Bowles? Todd Bowles. Yo, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Wait, yeah, this just seems like a great idea. He did a Perfect. really smart play where he ran it up the middle on the two yard line. They got a safety. This is just really good <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yep. Oh, that's that's a Todd Bowles classic right there, yeah. baby. <laughs> um, yeah. Get with the fucking program. Hire a guy who has an offensive mind and not Adam Gase. He doesn't count. That doesn't count. Okay. Doesn't count. <laughs> Adam Gase barely had a mind in general. Yeah. yeah. But seriously, if you look at like the Jets QB or uh, coach history, it's like, Defensive guy, defensive guy, defensive guy, defensive guy. Adam Gase. See, we got one. Defensive guy. It's just like, kill me, please. <laughs> Adam, Adam Gase is so lucky that Urban Meyer came in after him because right? we'd still be talking about how bad he was if it weren't for Urban Meyer. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, speaking of bad, we had the New York Giants play as well. <laughs> yep. Dude, yep. and speaking of the complete opposite, holy shit, the 49ers are good. Yeah, yeah. they're very good. Very good. Their offense, particularly, like man, they, they, yeah. they're, I don't, I don't like besides the Dolphins. Maybe I don't know if there's a team that can even compete with this level of offensive no. firepower. This is no. straight yeah. up like if they're healthy, they're probably gonna win. Like yeah. the uh, injuries are probably their biggest concern <laughs> out of anything. <laughs> Uh, and they've been they've made it through pretty far now. Usually they get hurt with injury luck. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm not gonna jump on this 49ers train until they play a good team. <laughs> yeah, they like played paper, the, the, the Steelers, Rams, and Giants, and they play the Cardinals next week. Like I don't know why their schedule is so <laughs> damn easy. That's true. Um, well, I think the Rams are Rams I don't gonna think be competitive because they're, they're a divisional uh, team, I think. But yeah, I don't think the Rams are that good. Matthew yeah, Stafford's starting to look but... old. Like I, I think yeah. that we, we, we did we did this thing where we're kind of jumping on the hype trains of a bunch of teams that it's too early to tell, like the Falcons and the Niners, or not the Niners, the uh, Rams and stuff. Like yeah, that is these teams are still not great. I'm mostly just excited about the Rams because they haven't given up. Like that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm happy to see. To be... Well, they they don't have a choice. They don't they don't get a draft pick until the like 2030s. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Brock Purdy, 310 yards, two TDs. McCaffrey, 85 yards and a touchdown. Debo Samuel, 129 and a touchdown. Debo! Uh, it, it is, like, I did watch this game, and it, like, it's crazy how, I mean, Rob's not going to like hearing this, but it's crazy how good uh, play calling and coaching can can win you yeah. games. Oh, yeah. Like, it's the same thing with the Eagles, I feel like. Like, you just watch these teams, and the players don't have to try that hard. Yeah, <laughs> They yep. really don't. If the play that's called is good enough, it just works. It just, yep. it just yeah. works. Like it's, it's kind of like a chess match. Like you can't, mm. you, you, your queen can't move any harder than it can. Like you just yeah. have to make the right move. And if the coach makes the right call, the play caller goes, you know what? Hey, this might work here. You yeah. don't have to fucking try. It's like, oh, McCaffrey yeah. is uh, <laughs> just running up the right side for like 13 yards because that's just it's it's insane. It's actually really fun to watch. That's legit and in the Packer offense this year. It's been fun because they're just like scheming guys. I watched a uh, JT O'Sullivan, the quarterback. He like breaks down quarterbacks every week and every. He's like, dude, I just love watching the Packers because they just scheme people open all the time. It's just fun. I can't imagine what that's like. I mean, <laughs> it's it's crazy because I'm I'm watching. I'm doing the same thing as the last. Year. I'm watching as many games as I can because you know you only watch so many yeah. games of football. But like watching this game, I watched like three quarters where I was like, oh, "This is boring." Uh, and then watching the Steelers game, it's like it, players don't have to make plays. Like the Steelers yeah. are winning their games because big time players are making big time plays, despite the bad play calling and despite you know the things um the niners don't have to do that they're not they don't need big plays just up he's open now that he's open uh, yep. run here. like it's <laughs> it, it's uh there needs to be a coaching revolution in this league like all the nepotism all the bullshit needs to go away because this this kind of football is the future it just is yeah and i mean there if, has if been these a other... minor one so far but go on yeah uh, That's true. Uh, it has been like McVeigh, Lafleur, uh, Shanahan, like that type of coaching tree. Yeah, I'm just, I just, uh, I want, and now McDaniel's too. Yeah, McDaniel's. Like, he's a new guy, and he's doing new shit. Like we'll talk about it when we get to it, but I, I'm, I'm sick of old style football because it's, it's not going to work anymore. This is not. You, yeah, you need to have pound, people who man. know what the yeah. And <laughs> ground, I, I don't need to watch Najee Harris fucking run into a wall of seven defensive linemen on second down every single drive. I don't need to see that anymore. Yeah. Like, there is no more like unless you're Derek. I mean, Derek Henry can't even do that shit anymore. Like, yeah. the teams Dude's are so good. Down. Like you, yeah. you, you just gotta. You, it's it's about smart play now. It's it's not necessarily about you know. Yeah. Who's the absolute These most talented analytical young kids coming in with their <laughs> brains and their statistics? Uh, the Giants actually feel like they have decent coaching; they just don't have players. <laughs> I, I was gonna, I was coming into like, I feel bad because can you guys name a Giants wide receiver without looking right now? I sure as oh, hell can't. No. I knew Darius uh, Slayton, and that was it. Right, and we've uh, even talked about him. <laughs> who's their running back? Huh? It's definitely not Saquon Barkley. He's injured forever. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. Daniel no Jones running? I guess would be uh, the running. <laughs> it, it was, yeah, right. Matt, Matt Breida and Gary Brightwell, guys. Oh, Matt yeah. Breida, former oh, 49er. 
No, I really? mean, remember when we were looking at their roster before the season? And we were like, what <laughs> yep. did they? Who the what fuck are do? these people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what, Those what two sound like they run season? a hardware store in Montana. Very, <laughs> very bright well. Come on down to Matt and Gary's uh, auto repair shop. Yeah, it's they. They are not. They need stuff. Just really, just things. Stuff and things specifically. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah really. Anything. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, that's honestly what I thought the Giants would be last year, and then somehow they just were better than that. I don't know what they did. Like they they, they must have did some magic. But, well, it's like you said, they actually do have good coaching. Like Brian yeah. Bull won Coach of the Year last year. You, you, yeah. They have some uh, semblance of uh, plan. At least, yeah. just you know, it's like you said, the, the pieces of that plan are missing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But speaking of good plans, the Detroit Lions. <laughs> oh, Is it? Boy. I mean, they won 20 to 6. They, they, yeah, they won. They're doing pretty good. Uh, they're doing pretty good. They're 2 and 1. The yeah. Lions, I mean, you know, they lost a hard fought overtime battle to Seattle. They still look good. I mean, they just made the Falcons look like shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, B. John Robinson didn't really do much. I saw people complaining that were like, they didn't use B. John Robinson enough. Which is probably true. Uh, they only had but, 10 carries. Yeah. So they, I think, I don't know if the Lions run defense is good. Because if it is, that would explain a lot. Because the Falcons are really just a running team. When they have to pass constantly, it's usually not good. Like Drake London's actually good. but And Kyle Pitts. But Desmond Ritter, uh, is not gonna, he's not going to win you games throwing the ball. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I mean, yeah, good lines win. Jared Goff, 243 yards. TD, a pick. Jameer Gibbs, 80 yards. Amon Ross St. Brown, 102 yards. Uh, in fact, the Lions only had four players catch a pass, and it was Amon Ross St. Brown and Sam Laporta catching 17 uh, of the 22 completions. <laughs> yeah, that's hardcore. That's pretty, Detroit pretty insane. does indeed have a top five rush defense. So All that, right, that, that might checks explain. out. <laughs> that I mean, Aiden explain. Hutchinson is just so goddamn yeah. good. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, He's I forgot about good. him. It is also week three, so like the same. Right, yeah. That's true. It's a little yeah. skewed. Uh, uh, their rookie tight end uh, over on the Lions, Sam Laporta, he's looking impressive, man. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. looking really good. Had a string of three solid games so far to start the year. Yeah. yeah. No, dude, I mean, like, he, this is a, I, I know this is like maybe a stupid stat to use, but in fantasy, he got 22 points against me, that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, we were saying earlier before the show, but we are now at eight. Two and one teams in fantasy, uh, and yeah. then Rob is zero and three, so he's yep. not there. Yep. But yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. and I want to point out, I want to point out again publicly that mm -hmm. uh, I had the fourth most points in the league this week. Yep. Uh, however, I was up against the number one most points in the league, so yep, that'll do it. three for me. <laughs> Sorry, despite the fact that there are eight two and one teams there's a 130 point differential between first and eighth place and i know that because <laughs> yep. i'm in eighth place <laughs> oh, yeah. uh yeah that's that's a rough one. i lost you this week actually it was a bad week for me yeah I, like, got, I got pretty lucky with jamar chase finally deciding to show up yep um so yeah, really nothing else this game. It was just Lions also had 10 penalties or 119 yards. Both teams were not good on third down, but Lions were better. The Lions yep. have their true test in two days. Yep, that's going to be playing. that's gonna be a fun one. An actually good Thursday night game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Packers-Lions division battle for first. Never thought that would be a thing this year, but here we <laughs> are. Uh, then we had, oh boy. Chargers Vikings in maybe the most Chargers Vikings right. game <laughs> I have ever seen. Burn, 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 burn. Dude, we, I, I feel like it's a joke that like <laughs> these teams try to lose and like it's insane that the team that had the ball last was guaranteed to lose. Like, yeah, it's it's like the opposite of every other team or all the you good teams. It wrong as a joke. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's insane like it's it's a meme but it's 100 percent true these teams both try their hardest to lose it really yeah. did and how, it's insane. how like it doesn't make sense you'd like you can't teach that like i don't get it <laughs> uh it is justin herbert was 40 of 47 he had a hell of a game, dude, but only <laughs> because their run game could not do a goddamn thing oh, yeah. joshua they could Kelly, not 11 carries for 12 yards Yep, yep, that is bad. Uh, 1.1 yard per carry. Me. 
<laughs> yep. Fantasy. Yeah, Justin uh, Herbert. 405 yards, three touchdowns for Herbert. Keenan Allen yep. had 215 of those yards. Mike what Williams. 18 catches, dude. Good yeah, what's, yeah. What's, the, what's the completion percentage there, too? 40 of 47? Is that like... Let me get my calculator. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty yeah, high. Figure that out, Bear. 85%, dude. Cool. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's incredible. extremely high. Uh, Kirk Cousins also had a fantastic game. 32 yeah. of 50, 467, yeah. 3 1. That's the, uh, the running theme is Kirk Cousins consistently looks pretty good and they lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's put together a pretty good year so far. Like he's got he's like doing good. He has three the, TDs a game, right? He has the most passing attempts in the NFL. Uh, he has yeah. the most passes completed in the NFL, the most passing yards in the NFL, and the most touchdowns thrown in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, and he's on three. And he's on three. Yeah. <laughs> does anyone does anyone on this podcast want to apologize to me uh, in, no. in any form or fashion? I usually do, but it's uh, out of pity. Yeah. <laughs> no, you usually back me up on the Kirk Cousins train, to be That's honest. That's true, yeah. I'm usually Listen, I don't I, I, I'm not I'm saying not, he's I, bad. I'm, I never I, I never said Kirk Cousins. No, Cousin it was, was really bad. pointed directly at Crendor. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> but again, <laughs> I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying he's not he's not listen, he's not willing his team to win. He has to provide the motivation. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have that spark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I'm not. I mean, right now he's playing fantastic, and the defense just blows ass. And he's yeah. just uh, they're they're not a good team. With just, they're it's not a good team. Time to sell, I think. If you, well, I don't know. Like you got Justin Jefferson, and he's yeah. this is contract year, is it for him, or is that uh, next year? I don't think. Uh, so. I think it might be this year actually, because he's going to cost them one quadrillion dollars. So they have right. to make yeah. the choice if they're going to commit to him or rebuild. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, uh, that's the thing is if you're if you're going to say yeah we're we're gonna pay Justin Jefferson then the best QB that you can keep on your roster is Kirk Cousins right I mean yeah yeah I mean the Vikings offense isn't necessarily the issue no. <laughs> yeah it's the defense. Yeah. No, and well but then it's also the offense like it's insane like I think the end of this game was the Vikings like didn't convert and the chargers made like some dumb penalty. And so the Vikings got another chance to get the game winning touchdown and turn it over immediately. I think <laughs> yeah. is what happened. The Vikings, yeah, that's the thing. Remember. They have fumbled, I think seven or eight times this year. Uh, and they had another one that year. I think this game that should have been a fumble. And they wasn't were like, the, no, it's not a fumble. <laughs> this is the one, wasn't the beginning of the game. Like, the Vikings turn over, oh no, and then the Chargers turn over, yeah. and it's like, oh no, it's like they, they, it was just constantly turning the ball back and forth like three or four times. Yeah, uh, they the Chargers only got sacked once, Vikings got sacked four times, so obviously pass protection is probably not the greatest either. Uh, but this is yeah, the Vikings have turned the ball over eight times on fumbles, which all of last year they turned it over eight times. So yeah, something's <laughs> something's wrong there. Uh, like in Denmark. I still think the Vikings, like uh, I like bashing the Vikings. Don't get me wrong, but I still think they're like a good team. Like they're not bad. Like Same as last year, team. man. It's just this year the games are going the other yeah, way. It's like last year. <laughs> like last year, I think the Vikings were like a nine to ten win team, and I think this year they're probably like an eight to nine win team. It really is think... funny how they've lost three one possession games in a row. Now <laughs> it is it's complete yeah. opposite effect. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this was, this was just chargers just all out going crazy on offense till the end. And the Vikings just couldn't put it away at the end. They, uh, they threw it, it got bobbled and picked off and that was how it ended. So we, uh, we sort of predicted this in our pickings last week, didn't we? When yeah. we were, we were talking about oh, yeah. two cursed teams going <laughs> yep. after, and it really kind of played out how you would expect. They yep. did really, the, the curses magic was at work, but yep. you know, it seems like the chargers... Again, it was the team that had the ball last that was going to win. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, next up. Oh, boy. We had oh boy. Packers oh. Saints. I had a great time once the fourth quarter hit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Packers were getting. I, you're so lucky that you guys that killed Derek Carr because you were not Here's winning the, the game if all you right. didn't yeah. kill him. That's probably true. But. All right. <laughs> <Probably>. about going <laughs> right. You won by one point on like a game winner. That All wasn't right. probably, man. <laughs> Here's the thing. Everyone keeps being like, Derek Carr went down. Derek Carr got them 10 points. Like the, up to that point, he got them 10 points. The, they That's had a more than half their points. Yeah, but then he, they only needed him to get like one fucking first down past that and they would have won. Well, Jameis Winston got, Winston got him down the field and they just couldn't kick a field goal. They could have went up. 
Uh, so the, the thing was, this game was for three quarters, the Packers were shooting themselves in the foot. This was, okay, first drive, Saints go three and out. It's like, all right, here we go, defense. We get the ball at the 50. I'm like, oh boy, here we go, false start. Okay, there we go, all right, here we go, false start. Like, all right, so we got first and 20, and then we don't do anything there. Then we get the ball again, uh, just like the players were dropping it. Love missed uh, the tight end wide open over the middle. Would have been a oh, touchdown. It was just like a series of errors. There was more penalty. Anytime anything good happened, it'd be like holding. False start. Holding. And I was just like, Ugh. it was terrible. Uh, and then the Saints were just doing Saints thing. Like, they didn't even look that good. They were just, it was like a classic Derek Carr offense. Like, here we go, boys. All right. We got- Jimmy Graham got a touchdown. I didn't even know he played still. But I guess he's on the <laughs> Saints. Jimmy Graham, everybody. He plays basketball. Yeah. Uh, and then, all of a sudden, I think the Derek Carr thing just, like, woke the team up. And they were like, guys, can we just stop playing terrible football? And they are like, yeah, why do we do that? Uh, so then Jordan Love just gets in the rhythm. He's just, like, hitting darts. Like, everyone's, like, catching the ball finally. Nobody's doing penalties. And you could just feel the momentum swing. Like, you know, when you get that, that momentum, you're like, oh, God. Like, if you're the Saints, you're like, yeah, it's over. Like, you could just feel that hit. Uh, Because they were just like, they couldn't be stopped. And even one drive, we drive down the field. It's fourth and goal. And we're supposed to do like hitch route to the running back. And the the rookie running back just stops. He doesn't run the route. And he would have scored a touchdown. But instead, we turn it over. And everyone's just like, oh, my God. Like, just run your route. But then we we stop him again. And then we get the ball back, score a touchdown. We go for two. I swear, the announcer's like, I don't know about going for two here. You got to take that. Then we get the two, and he's like, wow, what a great decision to go for two. I don't know about that analytical football, but uh, (laughs) I guess it worked. Um, And then we get the ball back. We score again. Like, the fourth quarter was just the offense actually woke up, and it was was just amazing to see. The, The love pass to Dobbs to take the lead was, like, unbelievable. It was so good. Uh, it was like an Aaron Rodgers to Devontae Adams-esque play. Like, it was that good. Uh, also, let me show you maybe one of the most beautiful run play actions. I don't know if you saw it. I did. Take a look at it again. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, just, yeah, yeah. This one was pretty good. Yeah. The two-hand fake, pull back, then roll out and just, like, sidearm dart. I was like, oh, my God. I think I'm going to bust. Uh, <laughs> it was. <laughs> but the biggest thing, all right, out of this whole game, was Jordan Love and the offense. We didn't have our starting left tackle, our starting left guard, our star running back that's probably the best player on the team, uh, Christian Watson, Jair Alexander, our number one cornerback, and then our starting middle linebacker went down uh, halfway through the game. We were literally playing with, like, nobody. And for years, everyone's like, they just got to get Aaron Rodgers some weapons so he can win. Jordan Love's working with, like, random-ass people nobody knows, and he's just, like, doing it. And a, a big part of that is coaching because he is scheming these guys open and all they have to do is make plays. And at first they were dropping shit never, but then they start making plays. And you're like, woo, uh, like straight up. Like they're like, but their car went down. I don't care. Half our team's gone. All right. You, if you got a good defense, like the saints do, you have to stop uh, a first year quarterback in his third game. Jaden Reed, the Tavius Wick, Samori Torre, and, like, to whoever the hell our running back was. I don't even know who he was. Who was he? Fucking Patrick Taylor Jr. You telling me <laughs> they, they're like, their car went down. I guess the Patrick Taylor Jr. and Jaden Reed are going to destroy us now. Like, shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> either way, I don't care. You could, People could asterisk the win or whatever. I'm having a great time watching Packer offense with Matt LaFleur scheming. It's fun outside of when they penalize themselves. Uh, but it was it was great. So yeah, that's my rant. We'll <laughs> see. Uh, we'll see on Thursday, I guess. And I'm excited. Yeah. It's Thursday. Apparently, everybody's coming back. One of the reasons that nobody played this game is they're like, oh, we have a Thursday game. We'll just hold everyone out for the Thursday game. So Aaron Jones is coming back. Watson's coming back. Um, it's gonna be good. I'm ready. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Jordan Love has looked uh, pretty pretty. Good he's been and good. Bad. He looks yeah. better than I expected him. But yeah, I, yes. I, I, he's not. He's not like you know lighting any fires. Or yeah, anything. he's not lighting everything. Up, but like he he's showing that I think he has the potential to be like a starting yeah. good quarterback, which is really he's, all you could ask for week yeah. or year one. 
His um, completion percentage is like a little above 50, which is not great. Well, but I will say is, part of that is because our Dontavious Wicks and Patrick Taylor Jr. can't catch a football. So that does lower your completion percentage because he is like yeah. hitting a lot of guys. But he has like he's thrown behind some guys. He's missed some open throws. But like yeah. it's things that you can correct. It's not like Zach Wilson being like, where's the receiver? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, like he's it's, making it's, good reads. His touchdown to interception ratio is very good. Is yeah. it's, he's, he's got seven TDs and one one pick. So, yeah, you know, that, like that, in terms that, of passing right. touchdowns, he's literally up there with like all of the good quarterbacks, which is like yeah. very good. Uh, and then I, I think the biggest thing I've really enjoyed is like he's just poised and like confident. Like he's mm -hmm. not going over there. He's not like, well, woe is me or whatever. Like he'll like throw an interception. He just goes over. He like looks at his tablet. He goes back out. Throws a touchdown. He's like, oh, cool. He goes over, does the thing, goes back. Like, he's never kind of, like, rattled. Like, he always yeah. looks like he's in control. Like, he also just makes really good reads. Like, he's like, I know this guy's going to be open. I trust this guy. I'm going to run the ball now. Nobody's open. Like, he just, he has, like, a very fast release and a very fast mind to, like, go through everything. And that's what I've really enjoyed is I'm just like, dude, like, he's just thrown to the open guy, which is, like, what Rodgers didn't do the last couple of years. He's just like, I'm going to hold the ball and look for Lazard or Adams. And you're like, okay. So, yeah. It's uh, it's actually been kind of refreshing. Makes you have a little bit of fun. Uh, so there you go. Next up, Texans Jaguars. What happened? We're getting into the fun stuff, dude. Oh, what? <laughs> Jacksonville. Jack what? Why? Yeah, what yeah. You, what, babies, what is you doing? Uh, Negative is... one point on fantasy for their defense, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, <laughs> That's, I don't know what they're doing. Like they just yeah. They don't look sharp. The, and they get the Texans, dude. I want to flip the script here. Yeah, honestly, CJ Stroud's looking real good, man. Yeah. yeah. He was 280 <sighs> yards, two TDs. He was spreading the ball all over. He's getting everybody involved in the offense. He looked in control out there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Tank Dell. Tank Dell. Yeah. Tank Dell. Tank Dell. Tank Dell. Tank Dell. <laughs> tank Dell. Tank Dell. Yeah. Yeah, thank Dell. hell for Tank Dell. <laughs> I mean, this was Jacksonville's division to lose, and everyone was like, "Oh, the Titans." Though. No, the Titans suck as shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Why are the we'll why get are more the Colts that later. <laughs> leading the division? What's happening, guys? Like, yeah, that is kind of out of nowhere. The easiest year ever for you. You have a decrepit Titans team that is just average at best. You have two teams that are rebuilding with rookies. <laughs> That's the church bell. It's time, Jacksonville. <laughs> it's time, Jacksonville. It's time. <laughs> Fuck was that? <laughs> As my phone, sometimes it gives me Discord notifications. So that was. Why do you have like back. a church bell? <laughs> no, no, I, church dude, bell. I, I fucking hate that phone. I've changed that notification like thirty times. <laughs> it just well, always goes back to that. Oh, I actually think funny. the AFC South is probably the worst division in football. Oh, easily, dude. Yeah, yeah, easily. yeah no question. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it'll be it'll be fun to see who wins that division because uh, it's I, right now. I mean, the Texans look pretty good. No, I mean, I feel like none of these teams deserve it. No, so, no, like, no. Uh, they, you guys are. I mean, Texans seemed good this game. You guys forgot about the last two games. It's true. It's not he's, he's yeah. third game rookie, though, man. It, he's, he's, yeah. it, it, CJ Stroud. I mean, I'm I'm going to give him 100 percent the rookie pass for sure. And yeah. they got a new coach and everything. Like it, it's. <sighs> And you know, let me look at the schedule. They had the Ravens and the Colts, and yeah, uh, uh, whatever. You know, I'm talking all this shit, and they're playing the Steelers next week, so I just know <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna put like 50 on them somehow. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, um, no, but yeah, I think I think like for this season, the Texans aren't really gonna be expecting a lot of wins anyway, right? Yeah, yeah you know, you, you just kind of want to hope that cj shroud looks good and so far yeah i mean Absolutely. not every game has been like uh you know he's had incredible. some bad throws but he's allowed to have those bad throws. yeah exactly yeah and and honestly the i think overall he's looked good so and that's what you really want to you know remember peyton manning had the interception record his first first his rookie year you know yeah so. i i don't know what's wrong with the jaguars yeah. Is anyone yeah. that watches the Jaguars? Uh, like, I feel no. like Trevor Lawrence's accuracy is down, but I feel like he always had like accuracy issues. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, mean I, they, they have good receivers. They got Calvin Ridley and they yeah, got Christian that, that's Kirk the one. I mean, and... as the Calvin Ridley fantasy owner, uh, where the hell was he this game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But like, it's, and you look at their stats. He didn't. He didn't get sacked once. He only had six penalties. Like, what's happening? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't watch this game closely, but just looking at the box score here... Uh, well, the really... Texans, they did have a 90-yard kickoff return by a fullback, which... Right, okay. yes. Never... Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, should not yeah. happen. Yeah. yeah, it was a little botched uh, botched delivery, and then the fullback ran it all the way back home. <laughs> uh, That's pretty which weird. Which is great. Yeah, I mean, he broke, like, three tackles, in fairness. So, yeah. you know, but... Um, no, but uh, Ridley had seven targets and only three receptions for 40 yards. So, yeah. you know, but but seven targets is uh, I yeah. don't know what's happening. There. Like, I, like I said, I didn't watch the game that closely. Was he missing him or were they was he dropping? Yeah, him this what's going this on? game was not on red zone that much. So I didn't see. Yeah. Same yeah. Every time they cut, it was like Texans scored again. And I was like, OK, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And uh, maybe going for me, they'll fix it up. But right now it's uh, it's kind of a shit show. Good luck um, predicting who's going to win that division. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of shit shows, the oh Denver my Broncos. God. <laughs> the oh, my God. Yep. oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. This, this is a comical result. Yeah. This, I I'm, mean, I'm going to reiterate what I said last week, which is that I think the Dolphins are winning this division. Uh, yeah. Just it's looking up. like it. Yeah. Dude, I want all of those dummies from last year who like thought the dolphins were bad because Tua got like an undiagnosed lobotomy <laughs> partway through the season like <laughs> yeah uh, like i this is ridiculous this is Should three not straight happen. weeks of the dolphins looking like the best offense in a long time yeah and like you know just because i enjoy the the schadenfreude uh sean payton Famously, before the <laughs> yep. season, said uh, Nathaniel Hackett did the worst coaching job in history with the Denver Broncos. Here he is. <laughs> what, Steve. Steve. He's just setting it up to, so that he can do the worst coaching job. Yeah, the yeah. literally historically worst coaching job in a game <laughs> ever. Yeah. Uh, what makes it even worse is didn't the Broncos like trade picks to have him be the coach? Yes. Uh, what yes, was that trade? It was I think it was like a second rounder or something. Saints will receive the Broncos first round pick. Yeah. In 2023 and then a 2024 second round pick and the Yikes. Saints third round selection. Oh, for Peyton and the Saints third round selection. So they gave up a first and a second. So that's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's not great. <laughs> really bad. Like you want. Really the, the, bad, yeah. I think what tells this story so well is the the dolphins used three different people for rushing not counting like a couple of outliers the lowest average was 6.3 per carry that was the <laughs> lowest average of their yeah. rushing attempts yep. they used one two three four five six seven different receivers the lowest average was 7.5 yards out of all of those receivers yeah that's yeah. ridiculous <laughs> That's, they I set mean, so many records. It's the first time in NFL history there have been five rushing TDs and five passing TDs by a team in the same game, which right. just doesn't even seem like it actually happened. Yeah. But sure enough, <laughs> it's a college. That's college. It is right? college. like seriously, dude. You, you like straight up, you don't have that in the NFL. They literally had Mike White throw a touchdown. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent completion percentage and a touchdown. I yep. miss you, Mike. I miss you. <laughs> Come back. It is. It's insane because, like, you look at this, that like twenty three of twenty six, three oh nine. You're like, okay, like that's fine. But like four touchdowns, you're like, okay, all right. But then yep. you start looking like two hundred three yards rushing. You're like, wow, that's a lot of rushing yards. Wait, another guy had eighty two rushing, and then another guy had sixty six rushing, and then <laughs> you start looking through. It just you're like, keeps oh going and yeah. going. And yeah. Uh, and you can see how they got 70 points because it was like, they're, they're just like, well, we'll run the ball and try to close out the game early for them. And it's just like, well, I mean, guys, if you're going to give us <laughs> the you're not going to tackle yeah. me, I'm just going to run yeah. to the other end of the stadium. <laughs> and then on the other side, like Russell Wilson's like 23 of 38, 306, a TD a pick, like, okay, cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Rookie, um, rookie shit there. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> No, I mean uh, this is the worst loss I've ever witnessed in the history of football. It might be football. historically the worst loss ever. Yeah, well, well besides yeah. the fucking 1940 champion. Yeah, the if you right, don't count Bears, yeah. Redskins, yeah. 73 to pre nothing. Super Bowl. Which, yeah, pre by the way, Bowl. I was saying the Bears should go back to that logo. Look at that logo. Oh, it's yeah. just a giant. He's a little dancing bear. <laughs> He's yeah. just carrying a, a football. 
bear fire, Aaron Paul. They need to fire everyone and just get that logo back. <laughs> It'll fix them up real good. Yeah. God, 70 fucking points, man. Yeah. I don't points. know if we'll see this for a long time again. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to the two games that my team has to play against the Miami Dolphins this year. <laughs> well, you have a defense, That's unlike true. Denver, defense. which used to have a defense and now you know, doesn't. I don't that, think. While that's true, if you can't get the defense off the field, it doesn't fucking matter. And with this team, <laughs> it seems like they can run or pass and yep. absolutely demolish any team in the league right now. Yep. So, you yep. know. Oh, can I? This So, like, the 70 points, like, really distracted from me from the fact that uh, I think right before halftime, Tua threw a no-look Oh, oh right! Oh, yeah. Shovel yeah. pass. It was, it was beautiful. Yeah. Behind behind he did back. it again behind the back. He they did he, it twice. Yeah, they did it twice. Yeah. <laughs> that he so Tua is left-handed. He threw a right-handed no look behind the back shovel pass. If Mahomes did did, did that, Collinsworth would have passed out and no, died. There's a guy. <laughs> he would have literally his heart would have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> like people need to respect Tua. All right. He his nickname was Tua. Turn the ball over. Like no, yeah. my guy. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the league right now. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you saying quarterbacks can improve? What? <laughs> that's pretty well that's insane <laughs> and you know it's the it's the dolphins coach too who is who is also like he's like a total fucking weirdo dweeb like yeah he is kind like, of a... start hiring nerds as any old stereotype oh yeah. yeah no yeah like he's it, it, he's it's just a fun guy to watch uh get these old losers out of here man yeah um speaking of old losers sean payton got talked about <laughs> <laughs> uh they're like hey uh what happened he's just like no comment you know we're, we're fine everything's good it's like oh okay uh like, you, you know he's pissed so oh I'm, yeah I'm gotta do a wellness check man like <laughs> <Yeah. God. laughs> my favorite my favorite quote was garrett bowles from the broncos defensive line said i've yeah. been here seven years and all i've done is lost <laughs> And he's just so depressed. I was like, dude, that is Rob on our podcast. Like, I've been yeah. here seven years. All I've done is lost. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 13, uh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's a tale of two teams. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, I, I, are, I can't believe it happened, man. It's insane. What's the difference yeah. between 3 and 0 and 0 and 3? Apparently, 50 points. <laughs> yep. What, uh, I, are the Broncos going to win a game? They play like, the Bears this happen? week. They play oh, the Bears, yeah. man. It's the yep. it's someone. <laughs> well, it's not necessarily someone doesn't have to win, but someone that's, probably that'd will. Be yeah. So funny if it's like a zero. <laughs> a zero zero, zero tie. tie would make yeah. my entire. I would never watch football again. I would. I retire. saw someone that say would... it's the the movable object and the stoppable yeah. force. <laughs> that was me in our Discord. Ah, that's what it was. Okay. <laughs> um. By the way, Devin Achan is uh the two hundred yard rusher's name on the Dolphins. People were saying Devin. Uh, a chain or something, but he said it's pronounced Devin A chain. Well, so there you go. Fair enough. Uh, next up, we had the Titans Elves. Oh boy. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the Elves have a good defense. All right. Like yeah. straight up, they do have a good defense. The issue is that the Titans uh, have a bad football team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like we were all like man the 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 browns they're done right i mean they lost uh their best player it's yeah. it's jover and now it's like well i guess not apparently yeah. you can you you can still beat bad teams yep it, like the titans just don't even look like they're doing any like derrick henry at 11 carries for 20 yards probably because they put like 10 players in the box and just <laughs> are ready yeah. for it uh, like Tannehill's at 13 of 25 for 104. Like, that is terrible. I, I said this like in the off season. I feel like I don't know if anyone here disagreed with me, or I don't. I don't know if anyone really agreed with me. But I'm like, why is this team not selling? Like, why are you getting DeAndre Hopkins? This is that's not going to help. Yeah. Your problem is <laughs> yeah. QB. Like, you are not a good enough team to win. Ryan Tannehill's not good enough to take you to the Super Bowl. You have to give up and. Go get someone who is. Well, they drafted uh, Will Levis. Where's Will Levis? Why isn't he playing? I, I don't like know, At this man, point, well, you might as well I, just put him in. I'm upset for DeAndre Hopkins because it's like, you, I kind of wish you would have gone to a team that stood a chance. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> he really could have. Um, I mean, he still can. They might trade him, but I actually, I don't know if they could trade him at this point or whatever. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know what. I feel like they just gotta. They at least gotta play Will Levis like for a little bit and see how he is. If if he looks bad or something, then you know, like let him sit again and learn. But like, you might no, as wait well. for the booze, man. Yeah, if it's yeah. the booze start raining, like, eventually they're just like, all right, fine. Yeah, whatever. Um, but well, other- that, that was the thing. I think that's what we were talking about with the Titans is that like if you punt on Tannehill, then you punt. You got to punt on Henry, too. Right. You, you just got to because a rookie QB is going to come in at the tail end of Derrick Henry's like mega contracts. You know, it's just not going to work. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I'm not saying the answer was easy, but the, this is not the solution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you can sign Derrick Henry to make a contract, and then you have your rookie quarterback on the good deal, so it's kind of like making up for it, right? Yeah, like, but do you, I, do you want to have a running back on a mega contract with a rookie QB? That's I mean, not really a recipe for success. When we're usually. if we're talking about any running back, Derrick Henry is the one where I'm like, true, yeah. true. Yeah, so, I mean, fair. not only is he the face of your franchise, but this dude is like probably the just he is the Titans organization. <laughs> oh right now absolutely yeah, yeah. like yeah. right now and he has been like for years like everyone's like titans oh derrick henry like you just yeah. that's what you think of like you don't think of anybody else and it's been that way since 2000 like 18 probably so yeah. like i feel like you have to at least give him a couple year mega deal and see what happens but yeah it's 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 a it's a disaster over there right now yeah I'm real grim dude yeah, mm-hmm. uh, the uh, the only bright side is they are in the shittiest division in football, so things could turn around <laughs> once they uh, play some of their divisional matchups. Uh, but either way, that was a pretty shitty game. Yeah, uh, and so was this one: Bills Commanders, thirty-seven to three. Now here's oh, the yeah. expected outcome. Yeah, this yeah. was this is just yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> Sam Howell with lose the us? four picks is pretty yeah. rough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, how did the Bills lose to you, man? What the I fuck? See, I have no idea. It's, I think Jordan Whitehead just, like, was sending, you know, scary texts <laughs> to Josh Allen on yeah. the sideline the whole time getting his yeah. head. I mean, Josh Allen was just, like, he was just throwing balls up, just like, ah, gee. Like, you can, he's he's definitely yeah. gotten a bit better since then. Although, this game, he only went 218 for one TD and one in. Like, not that great, but yeah, they Grand ran the ball decently. Yeah. Uh yeah, Sam Howell with the four picks probably isn't doing uh doing too much. But you know, it's he's a younger quarterback. What are you gonna, and he's on the commanders, so and he's yeah, a fifth round pick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. you gotta give him some leeway. Oh yeah. yeah. Um so I mean in terms of stat, they went one of nine on third down. Oh. Yikes. Yeah, that's one third down conversion the whole game. And uh he got sacked nine times. Dude, I'd probably Jesus, throw I didn't see that. Yeah. I think I'd throw four picks if I was getting sacked nine yeah, times. Yeah, right. Fucking Seriously. arm is hanging off your body by a thread. <laughs> yeah. Uh so that's that was that game. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, that game. Much, just yeah. Fully expected outcome. Yeah. Then pretty we much. had Colts Ravens in a really weird game. Yeah. It went Gardner Minshew, dude. He pulled yeah. an Orlovsky. He did. Big time yeah. Minshew stepping out of bounds. Uh, Even the Ravens a safety, but still end up coming back and winning the game in overtime. This is a this is a very weird one. Yeah. And Justin Tucker missing a game winning field goal. And yeah. Matt Gay having a hell of a day for the Colts, dude. Yeah. Four fifty plus yard field goals in the same right. day. Yeah. That, that was a five. record too. No one, no one's ever done that, right? Yeah. yeah. That was wild. So, uh, I will say the Ravens did get screwed over at the end because they definitely had oh, a pass yeah. interference that should have been called and it was uh, not called. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Is, I hate uh, the Ravens and I love to watch them lose. But they, <laughs> yeah. That one that one was a bit uh, bullshit. Yeah, that was that was a rough one. Um, but they had plenty of other opportunities where they could have won. Uh, and Lamar Jackson, 101 yards, two touchdowns running and 202 yards, 22 of 31 passing with no TDs, no ints in a yeah. classic Lamar Jackson game. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- this just looks like the Ravens of old, really. It's, I, think, just... I, I think Lamar looks pretty pretty good this year. I think it generally I improved. I don't know, because he's my fantasy quarterback, and every <laughs> week I'm like, I don't know if I want to play Lamar Jackson. <laughs> like, he didn't <laughs> do bad. It's just like, 
he just looks like what he always is. He runs for 100 yards and two touchdowns, and then he throws like an okay game. And that's like it. High completion percentage, but yeah, low average yards per three. I mean, I don't want to give any credit. I hate how much people <laughs> fucking <laughs> overwrite the Ravens to it. Like, they were very injured this game, too. I think they were missing yeah. seven seven starting defensive players. Oh, man. That's, uh, I wonder what's like the uh, 30 year team injury. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Uh, I will say, uh, they had a big player try to step in, Melvin Gordon. Uh, Melvin Gordon, <laughs> Melvin Gordon. I didn't even realize Broncos, he came back. Right? No, he's on the Ravens. What? He's on the Ravens. Yeah. He's on the Ravens. Ten carries, thirty-two yards, average, uh, and then he had two catches for twenty-three yards. Look, Look at that, that. Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon. Good old Melvin. Melvin. Good old Mel. But yeah, I mean, we gotta get uh, him on the podcast. <laughs> we <should>. do. <laughs> uh, Zach Moss, one hundred twenty-two yards on the ground for the Colts. Minshew, two twenty-seven and a touchdown. And the Colts, I mean, here's the thing. Even like, even when they had uh, uh, Anthony uh, Richardson. Bu- bu- Richardson, I want to say Robinson. I knew it wasn't right. Uh, even when they had him, they were looking pretty good. And now with Minshew, I mean, they're still looking all right. Like the Colts are kind of looking like the best team in the AFC South. And they're Which getting Jonathan wild. Taylor back in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's yeah, true. That's right. Yeah. Uh, are they? they? I mean, supposedly, well, uh, on in theory, right? They're going to be getting Jonathan in theory, Taylor right. in a couple weeks. Maybe before, he'll yeah. look at the record and be like, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he might actually <laughs> just do that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Colts probably looking like the team to me. Yeah. So, I... well, so far, again, three weeks. So, <laughs> three yeah. weeks. You know, Let's not. Yeah. 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 Uh, we're going to be, it's going to be six weeks from now. I'm going to be like, man, remember when we said the fucking Colts for the team? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> uh, then we had the Jets. Then we had Panthers, Seahawks. Yeah. Wait, hold Ooh. on. Before we go uh, away, yeah. three stats that we didn't mention. In, okay, my go Jets ahead. Rant. Uh, one, the, the Patriots had their top three cornerbacks injured in that <laughs> game. Yep. Could you tell? Um, nope. <laughs> uh, two, Zach Wilson sacked himself. We didn't go over yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Sack himself. You mm-hmm. should Google that at home if you haven't seen that video. <laughs> it is hilarious. It is funny. Um, and then uh, finally, the last play of the game for the Jets was uh, on the fourth and ten where Zach Wilson hit a check down. Thank you. Thank you. That'll be, yep. that'll be all. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Uh, then we had Panther Seahawks. And this was Geno season. Geno season. season. Although, when you look at the the team stat, it's a little like uh, like the the. No, it's Kenneth Walker season. Yeah, no, it's game. Yeah, yeah. the Seahawks were only three of thirteen on third down, while the Panthers were ten of nineteen. Like yeah. that's that's a little crazy. Uh, but Andy, Andy Dalton threw fifty eight passes. <laughs> Andy yeah. Dalton. Andy yep. Dalton, 361 and two TDs. He actually looked good. Yeah, another yeah, QC solid. available in the offseason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Why, why does Miles Sanders only have nine carries? Yeah, I don't, yeah. They, I don't know. Yeah, they weren't even really playing from behind, were they? It was, no. it was a very surprising game plan. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. Adam Thielen had 145 and a touchdown. DJ Chark yes. had 86 and a touchdown. Like, they actually got good receivers, which we, like, mentioned. Yeah, Adam uh, Thielen has actually put together a very good past two weeks. Actually. Yeah, he uh, never stopped being good. I don't know why the yeah. Vikings let him go. It's yeah. Well, I think they just didn't want to pay him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be makes honest, sense. but that's <laughs> that's pretty much the only reason. Uh, but yeah, the Panthers. They also had thirteen penalties on the Panthers. That probably did not help anything. Yeah, it uh, hurts. Like the yeah. Seahawks were good, but they didn't they didn't look great in terms of statistics this game. So like. Uh, but the, I mean, you know, overall, they they scored when they had to 25 points in the second half. It was yeah. uh 13, 12 Panthers at halftime. So and as I recall, that that's what was largely happening was in the second half. The Seahawks just started running all over them with uh, yeah. Kenneth Walker. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. the first half was literally field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal, touchdown, field goal, field goal, field goal. <laughs> Yeah, right. so I can't I can't say I watched the next this in the next two games because it was the the wait lin- the wait the late window. Sorry, the wait window. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was uh, only three games and it was the three worst games yep. of the yeah of yeah. the day. So I was like, I'm uh, not gonna watch these. Yeah, <laughs> I, no, I can't. I watched some of this game. Did you guys know Taylor Swift was there? Oh right, yeah, yep. yeah. Taylor Swift went, was there. Went home with Travis. You Kelsey. know, yeah. yeah. It, you know, I'm gonna say that like. 
I, after all this, I think that I finally understand Taylor Swift's music now. Um, <laughs> she just has terrible taste in men. <laughs> that's all it is. It really uh, is the underdog. I get it. You don't understand oh, that's that they're the underdog. Joke. Thank you. It's the second time I've told it because I said it in my chat too. And I've told them I'm going to tell it again on the podcast because it's just a good joke. Nobody yeah. believes um, in the Chiefs. No, no one. No, <laughs> no, one no one could. No one could have possibly foreseen the Chiefs making or winning a Super Bowl. That yeah, was like, honestly, yeah. like fuck the game. We can just talk about Taylor Swift. How happy <laughs> must the NFL be that Taylor Swift is doing this? It's the most free oh, yeah. advertising. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm seeing she's, so she's many like people. literally the most famous person in America right yeah. now. Right? In, like, the yeah, yeah, in the world, in the world, maybe yeah. even the world. Yeah. I've yeah. seen Ridiculous. so many people just being like, "Yeah, my like my sister and my girlfriend and my wife are all like, oh my god, yeah, I'm watching football now." Uh, Taylor Swift's there. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, that what, that is, what's she doing? <laughs> we are a we are a broken species, but like that is. Um... I actually in my. <laughs> <laughs> I open up the game on ESPN and the top highlight video is Taylor it's Swift celebrates. Swift, of course, yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's, uh, I, it's good news because more NFL fans. It's bad news because it's more Chiefs fans. So yeah, right. right. Yeah, that's uh, tough. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, overall, this game was a blowout shit show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, there is a uh, quote from Justin Fields after the game. It's depressing. He, oh, he no. says, quote, I'm looking at it like the big picture, life in general, to be honest with you. I think this, <laughs> I think this oh, past boy. week has had me kind of look at it like, what are the important things in life? Like, that's a broken soul. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Holy shit. It sounds like he's about to retire, dude. Yeah, yeah. existential dread, man. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, we are watching two franchises having the worst imaginable year they could possibly have at the Absolutely. same time. Yeah. We should feel blessed that we get to watch these two train wrecks oh, I'm mash excited. into each other next week. <laughs> Like there, it's, it's we are literally watching two crane uh, trains crash. I can't talk today, and they're going to crash off of their rails into each other in a <laughs> in a football game. Dude, there have been so many memes on the Jets subreddit being like, "Thank God for the Bears," because <laughs> man, <laughs> takes no, it's off. made yeah, me yeah. feel better. Like I yeah. know my team is two and one, which so I shouldn't feel too bad. But like I still have Matt Canada on my, uh, my team, which is just tragic. But. Like, it makes me feel better. I'm like, you know, there are so many worse teams that I could be a fan of right now. I like yeah. the uh, very good meme from the That is very good. I, I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this was the, the, the Chiefs. Literally we'll explain this... it. Hold on. We should explain it oh, before yeah, we go should... on. Yeah, because you can't just chuckle at a meme and be like, uh -huh. There's like you a bunch of kids, it. and the one kid's beating up the other kid. And the, the other kids are like, there's two girls and a boy. And one says Taylor Swift is the one girl, and the other girl is taking a picture of the fight of the Chiefs fan beating up the Bears fan, which is the one kid and the other kid. And it's just Taylor Swift fans watching their first NFL game. We should make our podcast. I don't know. I don't, every meme. I don't. I don't think we did have to explain it. No. Yeah. Well, I think the alternative is that we could post the things in the. We could. But I we guess we could. But. <laughs> Uh, they, they anyway. also said the Chiefs pulled Jawan Taylor, Jawan Taylor, mm -hmm. in order to have Prince Tiga Wanogo aligned at a similar depth to see if officials would call a penalty. Donovan Smith also set deeper than he did in the first half and neither got flagged. So oh. like how Jawan Taylor week one kept getting flagged uh, yeah. for false start. And then the top. Well, no, he is, didn't get flagged. Right? Yeah, he didn't get so the top comment was a Bears guy saying, imagine getting your ass kicked so badly that the other team has time to rotate depth pieces in and run experiments <laughs> to test the ref's bias levels. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, just start swapping our guys in, see what happens. <laughs> Which, what, what's further down on our checklist today? What can we knock out? <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> it is, by the way, I, I forgot to mention this with the Packer game. Our offensive line depth is actually insane. Like, we're just rotating in dudes you've never heard of. Like, yeah, throw in Rashi Walker. And they're like, dude, this guy's like a seventh round pick. He's playing at like a for second round level. Like, we just find offensive Wait. linemen like out of nowhere. You just you so if an offensive lineman does bet you you switch him out for someone you can do that yeah it's actually it's, it's actually a crazy I thought strategy. that if their name was Dan Moore they had to play the whole game no matter how many times they let Max Crosby murder your quarterback well in that situation yeah, yeah that's that's what you have to do 
you just have to keep letting Max Crosby line up against yeah. them more. Like you have to. Yeah, and you don't. I like know you drafted Broderick help. Jones to replace him, but he can just sit on the bed. Like you don't. Like he can just sit there. Yeah, and you don't like scheme a running back to help block or like a tight end or anything. No, just... they did do it once with Jal. <laughs> oh, the, oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game was uh, terrible. <laughs> and the Bears, it was really the best way the Bears had to cap off their week, which we didn't even yeah. talk about. That's uh, true. Well, there's we still, don't, it's we don't know hearsay, how yeah, bad yeah. this point. Clearly, he did something bad. We just don't yeah. know how yeah. bad it was. There's plenty some of rumors, of the, some of which are very bad. It's yeah. very bad. And yeah. I'm which, I'm more inclined to believe the very bad ones. Yeah. Well, so here's they won't the thing. fucking say what happens. <laughs> but see, but yeah. that's the thing, is that so far, at, out of the all the non-hearsay, well, the only... The, the, his lawyer said no criminal allegations, right? Right. And then mm -hmm. uh, Adam Rappaport, or Schefter, one of them, also echoed that saying yeah i have inside knowledge saying yeah there's no criminal allegation so what the fuck happened yeah. I'm, you know it's full-blown conspiracy like, <laughs> if, if you're the nfl and something horrible happened like you know and mm -hmm. the original rumor was that it involved kids i'm not right, saying yeah. again yeah but like imagine something like that did happen if i were the nfl and i loved covering shit up I'm going to cover that shit up as <laughs> yeah. quickly oh, and yeah, fastly dude. as possible. Oh, yeah. but yeah. Like, could they, they would go to any lengths to make sure that doesn't break yeah. out. Like, it was the day it happened. I was, I put on Chicago sports radio. Cause I was like, Oh boy, they're going to be, they're going to they're going to say something. So they were, they had guys at the building. They had, they brought on the guy's lawyer and he had the most lawyer conversation I have ever heard. <laughs> It was, yeah. they're just like, so why did he, and he's like, he had some family and health issues. He's decided he to take some time off and didn't. go work on those. And yeah. they're just like, can you specify that? And he's like, nope. <laughs> and yeah. he was just, and then after well, they, a while, they were just like, you know, normally like when a player resigns for health or mental, they like the team's like, hey, you know, we're, we stand behind him. You know, we feel bad. You know, Bears yeah. fans unite. They're just like, we've let him go. <laughs> and they're like, isn't that kind of weird? And he's like, guys, I got to get running. I got other meetings to go to, but <laughs> thanks for having me on the radio. No, I, I 100% <laughs> like something bad happened. Like, the, yeah. I, I well, think they eventually another... said that there was some form of misconduct. That's that's yeah. the closest we've gotten. Something now. inappropriate. In something the inappropriate was yeah. the term. Yeah. 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 And it's like, brother, you are making like. Either A, this is really fucking bad and you are doing everything you can to cover it up, or B, it's not that bad and you're making it look really bad. <laughs> yeah, like, you're yeah, really yeah. fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the only two things that could be happening. But like, right if now. it's not the thing that was the main rumor, holy, can you imagine how fucking upset that guy would be? Oh, actually? Yeah. Right. Like, like that's why it... I'm so full blown conspiracy because I'm yeah. like, People think that you did something reprehensible. Yeah. yeah. Like well, you also he also got a lawyer. You don't just like, yeah. get a lawyer for no reason. Well, I mean, so here's here's as far as inappropriate things that aren't that the you know you could be uh, gambling potentially. Yeah, it could be gambling. But, but the league uh, would have be... said something. Yeah. I don't know. They, they, I don't they've know they they've been so quick to be like, you're suspended for gambling. Like, yeah. They keep doing like that. This well, it depends on what he was doing. Like, if it was like he was running some fucking gambling ring out of the Bears. Well, then there'd be league. more people than just him going down to. Well, maybe they're yeah, looking probably... into it. I don't know. Either way, this is it's probably something bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. probably. Seems it's like probably. it's bad. Yeah. yeah. He probably was like, guys, what if we don't run screenplays to like get him out of the building? because <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah it was it was 35 nothing at halftime 34 nothing 34 nothing yeah. at halftime um and then the bears at the end of the game like had some garbage shit they did this is they should after this game like i said they should have fired everyone just blown the team up <laughs> called the jets yeah. been like you want justin fields for like a third round pick <laughs> you could have them and then just like fully reloaded uh, like you, it doesn't even matter who the coach is. You could hire literally just the, anybody. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like you're not gonna win. And then just go back to the old 1940 Bears logo and move on. That's <laughs> That'll it. That'll fix it. <laughs> That'll fix yeah. it. Um, I mean, they tried it this year, and it changing the logo did not work no, out. It for has this. to specifically <laughs> be. They gotta change it back, yeah, change it back as quickly as possible. <laughs> it yeah. has to specifically be the 1940 Bears logo. No other right. logo is gonna work. 
or I mean, the offset C, because clearly that's the one that <laughs> yeah they were still bad, but they weren't like you know criminally bad. Yeah, uh, like so they are now. <laughs> yep. So this is uh, they are definitely the worst team in football. I would say right now. Yep. Uh, yep. They're getting Caleb Williams, the uh, QB. Yes, yeah. I know the top QB prospects of next year. <laughs> People said that he might even choose to like play another year in college so he doesn't have to go to the Bears. <laughs> Someone yeah. was like, jokes on you. You think we'll be good the next year after that without him? <laughs> well, hey, we learned from the Eli Manning uh, oh, yeah. draft that you can just say, I'm not a wanna. Yeah. yeah. Well, right. I mean, in fairness, they <laughs> he wanna. was a Manning. So I don't that's know how too. well that's going to work leverage, out. If you're, yeah. 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 If you're not a Manning. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just remember week one, Bears losing the Packers. Like, man, it can't get worse than this. Oh, <laughs> and, fuck. Oh, boy. Were they, <laughs> were they in for Surely a Surely it can't get worse than this. Sorry. Uh, um, yeah. Hey, speaking of that, we had a mojo moment. The Cardinals beat the Cowboys. Okay. Mojo we, moment. We, like, I know that football and media is, like, it's overreacting. <laughs> like, the podcast is overreactions. Yeah. It's fun. It's yeah, fun. But, yeah. like. People are like, the Niners are the best team. The Cowboys are the best team. Bro, they each have played the Giants. Woo. The Cowboys, <laughs> their other game was the Jets. Woo. Like, what? So like, the, this, we don't know how good this team is yet. And here we have proof right here. Yep. We don't know. Like, they, they were clearly not as good as we thought they were. They just got <laughs> shellacked by the Cardinals. Yeah. The yeah. Cardinals. Yep. Honestly, Josh the Dobbs, dude. The Josh Joshua Dobbs. Dobbs. Cardinals. Yeah. Funnily, I think Joshua Dobbs was on the Titans. And yeah. he played their playoff game, I believe. And he didn't even do that bad. So I'm also like... Also available in the offseason. Weird. I don't That's know why they, they didn't Dream. bring him back at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, like, man, yeah, like, Cardinals are actually competitive. Like, James Conner, 98 yards, touchdown. Rondale Moore, 54 and a touchdown. Dobbs mm -hmm. ran for 55, threw for 189 and a touchdown. 17 of 21. Uh, I will say... Game that the Cowboys did have uh, Diggs, their corner, go yeah, out. Yeah, Trayvon Diggs right, right, right. Yeah, so he's gone for the year. So that's probably not helping their defense, but that's uh, that's still losing to the Cardinals, man. After, like, everyone being like, <laughs> yeah. yo, this Cowboys defense, here we go. Like, they're just, a, like, an elite defense like that doesn't just lose to the Cardinals. <laughs> uh, but, and, and, I'm, and look, we, we all know this, but, and, I, and I, I, I don't hate Dak Prescott. But mm -hmm. he is not clutch. He's anti-clutch. No. He's the opposite of clutch. Yeah. No, he, he, is... he plays well. And then when it's high pressure moments, he flubs it. Yeah. It's and he's I mean, on the year, he's not doing that great. Like currently 647 yards, three touchdowns and a pick. Like, OK, cool. But nothing insane. Right. Like he's not. That's the thing I think with Dak Prescott is he's not like in that top. Uh, top tier of quarterbacks with like all those guys we were mentioning earlier he's like probably in the 10 to 15 range and mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's good enough on the cowboys but like i don't know oh. the cowboys won't ever win a super bowl until mike mccarthy is fired <laughs> yep. yeah yeah that's Dude, a safe I, bet. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> truth all right the cowboys also had 13 penalties for 107 yards oh, yeah it's a lot yikes um, uh, well, wait, did we ever talk about on the podcast the Jerry Jones hologram that's in the... Oh, right. It's, yeah, it's, it's an AI yeah. hologram. Yes, AI-driven <laughs> Jerry Jones hologram. Because that's what I creepy. want is my uh, memory to be in the hands of artificial intelligence after I die. <laughs> they, they, made an, they made an advertisement for it. And the the example that they used was like a person in the audience asking Jerry Jones, "What made you choose AT and T as your financial yeah, partner uh, for the Dallas Cowboys?" <laughs> as if that's something that someone's that people are gonna be like, "Do you wipe from the front or the back, Jerry?" Yeah. <laughs> what happened to the Bears uh, defensive coordinator, Jerry? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you on March 9th, 2014, <laughs> Jerry? Have you visited Epstein Isle, Jerry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jerry Jones. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the Mike McCarthy and the uh, Cowboys. I They're looking like a standard Cowboys team right now that's going to make the playoffs and lose. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how about them Cowboys? How about them yeah. boys? Yeah. How about them boys? <laughs>
<laughs> then we had the Steelers Raiders. Oh, boy. Oh, baby. This game wasn't as close as the score says it is. I just want to start with that. The The referees yeah. decided the game should be this close uh, at one yeah. point. Uh, I, I, you can go watch the hit if you want. It was Minka Fitzpatrick. Like, I, if I was... Uh, a defensive player in the league at this point, I would just try to kill the quarterback because you're going to get flagged <laughs> anyway. Like uh, he literally pulls up and does the lightest hit he can. He doesn't like follow through. He just goes, knocks him over like totally harmless hit and just happened to like graze the helmet and they threw the flag. And that would have been like a third and fucking forever. And the game would have been over. Like it was, it was over, over. They get the penalty. They get the score touchdown after that total bullshit. Um, that's my referee rant for the day uh, <laughs> because uh, the game wasn't actually close. The Steelers dominated on all sides of the ball. It was it was uh, weird. It was weird. I'm not used to seeing offense. Kenny Pickett <laughs> threw two touchdowns. Pickett yeah. Pickens, dude. It was, it was, yeah. it was, well, no, it was Pickett to Calvin Austin the third. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. he had the Calvin fucking, Austin like, the third yarder. is fast. He's yeah, the dude. fastest young boy. Like, he's crazy. You know, um, looking back at the, the Raiders win, like they beat the Broncos, but I don't even know if they should have beaten the Broncos. <laughs> like, I think they should no. be 0-3. Yeah. Well, the Broncos did just lose by 50, so. <laughs> That's true, too, you know? but the Raiders probably would have also lost by 50, to be honest. Oh, I yeah. have to tell you, Josh McDaniels is the worst. He's the Did yeah. you guys see what happened? No. No, what I don't happened? Think so. Okay, they are down seven points yeah or no no no. they're down oh eight yes points. sorry yeah. they're down oh, eight I points yeah, I heard yeah. about this. it is fourth down and he goes i'm gonna kick the field goal with yeah. like <laughs> three minutes less than three minutes left did you which, hear did you hear his press oh, conference? I did. I did i'll get yeah. to that but yeah. like <laughs> that's dumb that's yeah. dumb we all agree yeah. you're one score down you will still have to score a touchdown yeah. anyway you're yeah. already here they're in like the red zone area like you're already here it's going to be real hard to get here again. The Steelers yep. are playing good defense. Like, yep. it, just just go for it. Like, even if you miss, even if you go for it and miss, you still have your timeouts. Yeah. And you still get a chance to do it again. Like, uh, no, he's going to kick the field goal. Then the Steelers get called for a ridiculous leverage penalty that was also total bullshit, but it ended up fucking the Raiders, Raiders over because it's hilarious. They, the Raiders, instead of letting the field goal just be good because they were like, well, we got to kick the field goal anyway. They accept the penalty, bleed another two minutes off the clock, and then it's fourth and two at like the five, and they kick the fucking field goal again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> like, they were at like the five fucking yard line or something. It, like, you, how is... How are you a coach in the NFL? Dude, that's, it. Am... that's so bad. I I remember when we had Mike McCarthy and then we fired him and it was like the Packers were going to go with LaFleur or Josh. <laughs> like, yeah, right, I yeah. was like, oh, God, please. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. And thank God we did, because I think Jordan Love would probably be down the like Justin Fields path at this rate if that was the case. Yeah. It's mind blowing that a coach can make that decision and not get fired the next day like it was yeah. so bad and yet his excuse was well we needed two possessions anyway brother <laughs> you're down eight points i don't know if you know what a two-point point conversion is no, but actually no, the worst you fucking part, don't the worst part about that by the way is that the interview phrase the interviewer phrased the question of you you were down eight only eight points why didn't you why didn't you go for it and he was like well it's a two-score game anyway <laughs> so it's just like what are you like yeah, this is, it's how so, are like, you <laughs> the first one was bad but like yeah. they they were they were on like the 30 yard line or something so it's not like, like it was it was a dumb decision but it i i, I guess there's so if you don't trust your offense fine whatever but if you don't trust your offense why accept the penalty and then continue to try to score and and then do it again like the second one was Ah man, that's I'm, I'm sorry, honest, Raiders I, fans. Like, I don't think he, I don't think he didn't trust his offense. I think that interview showed us exactly what his thought process. He didn't was. know what a two. He just straight was. up, yeah, he just straight up doesn't know that a touchdown can be eight points instead of seven or six. <laughs> Honestly, I, he just like, doesn't know that information. Josh McDaniels, like if you look at him in this picture, right? Uh, I put in the, oh wait, I put in the wrong one. I just see the other one. He kind of looks like Kevin James. 
Uh, <laughs> and to be honest, I think he kind of coaches like he's a sitcom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sitcom. Yeah. Like, um, he's he, the dude is proven that he's not a good coach. He wasn't a good coach with Denver. And yeah, then no, it was a horrible coach. He's a horrible coach. And then he was going to go somewhere. He's going to go to like the Colts or whatever. And then he literally was like, nah, I don't want to. And he like screwed him over. Yeah. And then he goes back to New England. And now they're like, yeah, we'll make a market. Like, what? Did you see this guy's track record? Yeah, Please. I don't know. Give us a coaching revolution. They get rid of <laughs> all of these nepotism baby coaches. Please. It's just, yeah. I want a league with just better gameplay overall. And we deserve a league with better, like, just get rid of these fuckers, man. Yeah, like, it's, like it should be either, like, offensive strategy or, like, Dan Campbell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One or the other, yeah, I'll yeah. take yeah. it. More of the latter, honestly. <laughs> like, uh, uh, there was, oh, yeah, one more thing about the Raiders before I talk about the Steelers. The, the Devontae Adams also was, like, uh, did you guys see oh, what he yeah. said? Yeah. He's, he's, like, he's basically like, hey, to wait I, I don't got time for this, guys. Uh, I'm I, He's he's gone. He My gone, favorite man. was he, he literally trade. goes, it's not personal. Actually, it's kind of personal. <laughs> 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 like, oh, my God, that dude is, he's, without Devontae Adams, this team is uh, god awful. Oh, yeah. Devontae no, Adams had four guards and two touchdowns. He was yeah. their entire offense by yeah. a long shot. And he, the, the reason he came there was to play Derek Carr. He's not even there anymore. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah, they should um, trade him. Yeah. Anyways, where does he even go, though, is the other question. I mean, there's plenty like, of somebody. Plenty of teams. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, might go, he might go to a good team. Oh, he well, might go to the, the the Ravens. Ooh. Uh, well, so uh, I'm thinking they probably don't trade in the AFC, right? Well, um, there's an NFC team who needs a receiver. The Let's, Niners? No, no. God, no. I'll, I'll kill you. Help for sure, I'll dude. kill you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Are you, there's got to be some sort of... I don't... Tr- not, the, the big thing is having the cap space to, yeah, right, to bring him in. Seeing, I'm not seeing it. Uh, yeah, I, don't know. I mean, the, the Chargers just lost. They're not going to trade within the division, but the Chargers just yeah. lost one of their riders. I mean, team. listen, all right, if we if he wants to come back to Green Bay, all right, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, actually, like, the, of all the places, that probably makes the most sense. It probably yeah. would, actually. It's just the matter oh, of making the, the money situation. But, you I mean, know yeah, who, they could. Do you know which team has the most cap space in the league, not even just in the NFC? Who? The San Francisco 49ers. Oh, God. No, that's no. not possible. They have 41.9 million in cap that's space. Oh, because they don't have a quarterback. Yep. Yeah, it's brilliant, dude. <laughs> yeah. that's ins- they're literally wow. paying a seventh round rookie contract. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. That's infinite. I- that's the infinite money glitch, man. Everyone's going to draft in the seventh really round is. now. Dude, I bet you who's the who's the GM at the Niners facility? He's definitely on the phone with the Raiders like John being Lynch? like I think so. That's what I wanted to say, but I thought that was like maybe a GM for them like ten yeah. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think it also so might know. be. I'm not sure either. <laughs> yeah. Well anyway, uh yeah, but you gotta you gotta expect that Niners are on the phone, right? Like I mean that's well, that, like a perfect yeah, I don't, to the Raiders. don't want that, man. Yeah. That's literally this like they got like a, a Pro Bowl team if that's the case. Yeah, it is literally insane. a Pro Bowl team. No, if they if the Niners get, <laughs> yeah, that's absurd. Their team they have would... a star defense. They already have a, like the I'm going to say the second best offense in the league. Yeah, <laughs> like nah, man, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. It could happen though. It could. Yeah, it but honestly I don't seems want kind of likely. Yeah, it, it, like like from what I'm looking at, it looks like it would be like. What do they even have to to trade the Niners? Probably their first, right? Didn't they trade for all the Trey Lance stuff though? Do they still I don't have? Know. I don't even know. Wait, hold on, Tankathon. No, they they don't yeah, have it because they traded their shit to the Panthers. Yeah, that's right for, McCaffrey. for the McCaffrey. Yeah, but the what are they? No, they, they've got a first. They've got a first, the second. I'm gonna third, kill myself. And six and seven. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I actually think that might this might happen, dude. Like, yeah, man. It's starting to seem more realistic. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think they, oh, they don't want to trade him into the AFC at all, I would think, yeah. right? Yeah, and he'd get to stay in the area. Yeah, and he probably wants to go to a good team and well, a obviously. team that has the cap space. So, <laughs> yep. Oh, that's, mm. oh, that's miserable. That's miserable. <laughs> um. Anyway, Steelers, I don't know, man. We play the Texans next week. Matt Canada still sucks shit. You know how I know Matt Canada sucks shit? It's because he had one open parentheses 
zero or o n e close parentheses one good play call the entire day and it was such a like normal play call that uh, like collinsworth made it a point to be like hey uh here's a guy like i know everyone hates matt canada but that was a good like he did one (laughs) good thing wow like they made a point to point out the one good play call it's like (laughs) brother (laughs) <laughs> like it's crazy i think they even like made fun of him because like everyone knew that it was a Najee harris run up the middle like yeah. a, a, and like they the the box was stacked i think before the play went off they were like everyone knows like the defense is, like look at this they all know it's and then sure enough just ran Najee harris in the middle of a fuck like nine million guys so, like he's so bad <laughs> she's so I don't know why bad. they keep like teams just do the run up the middle so often and it's like may- yeah. maybe if they have a weak interior defense but like a lot of times they don't and it's just it gets stuff and it's like well, well there goes we, it down we keep doing it on second and 10 like it's so common <laughs> yeah that we, like that's no like stop oh anyway the jalen warren fucking uh, tiny little man little baby man jalen warren like just absolutely annihilated max crosby like on one play and like stopped him and saved the play i think that was the calvin austin touchdown too oh so cool <laughs> to see like a tiny dude like that stuff one of the best defenders in the league that was oh, yeah. sick <laughs> you know in a different context oh <laughs> i didn't even see what you <laughs> okay, said yeah, all right well, that was fun. That was the Steelers race. i don't even remember what i said <laughs> rob's talking about stuff in the league stuff in- <laughs> Yep. Um, so <laughs> then we had Eagles, <laughs> Eagles, Buccaneers. This game was so surprisingly not as close as the score. <laughs> like yeah. it was a total domination. Yeah. On this every Eagles Bro. are good. So one thing I loved to see was the the Bucks scored a touchdown, got the two point conversion, and kicked the ball away with like ten minutes left in the fourth quarter. So you're thinking like, oh, you know, maybe the Eagles didn't give the ball back the game ended on that drive it was a nine minute drive (laughs) and the game ended yeah insane yeah Yeah. Yeah. like eagles are good i know you guys say magic exists and they're not going to win the division but uh i think uh, they're not going to win the division they might still win the super bowl though uh we'll see i mean they looked good yeah, yeah, it'll probably be like they'll finish a game behind Dallas and then they'll beat Dallas in the playoffs. Right. Yeah. I think it's still safe to say that they're the best team in the division. I don't know if they're going to win it. Well, but yeah, I think they are right. the best team in the division. Yeah. yeah. It's just the magic is why we have yeah. to yeah. disagree. Impossible I mean, the, only, the only <laughs> extra point of magic is that the last team to do it was the Eagles. That's so. true. Yeah. He's got oh, a point. The backtracking has begun. Yeah. No, that was <laughs> the last time. The last time. Mark your calendar. Take no. note. The first no. backtrack has occurred. I've said this many times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eagles, Eagles are good. Eagles yep. good. Yeah. Yep. It's probably going to be Eagles 49ers again, to be honest. Yeah. Yep. 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 So. And you know, even though like his box you know his stat line doesn't look great here i just want to say that like jalen hurts in general has looked really good over his tenure on the on the eagles yeah no doubt yeah i think one of the interceptions wasn't even his fault it was a route miscommunication yeah Yeah. he's gotten a lot better as the uh, years have gone on too Mm -hmm. and oh yeah and the the other interception was an insane interception by the bucks defender so like i would say neither of the interceptions were really his fault Yeah. yeah I mean, like if you he's got a good he's got a good storyline, too, you know, because he had the he was the sharing QB with Tua and uh, and he's a second round pick. So but I mean, you know, the Eagles are looking they're what the the top two teams in the NFC, right? Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. Yep. So there's nobody else I'd probably put up there (laughs) along with them. Like there's good. Like, I think the Lions are good, but I'm not going to put them with the 49ers and the Eagles. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, the NFC kind of, kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm NFC looking at horrible. it. Uh, it's been it's, bad for years, too. It's been AFC dominant for, like, the past 30 years. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I'm looking. I'm like, dude, I think the Packers might make the divisional round at this rate. <laughs> yeah. dude, we're, dude, we're set up for another 49er championship loss. Let's hey! go. <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> I love those. Um. Anyway, we had the Rams-Bengals. 
This game was boring. <laughs> yep, yeah. it was. The it Rams. Was, it seems like it was a close fun game, but nah. Yeah. Is Burrow hurt? Yes. 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 Okay, that explains yeah. he was, a lot. He was questionable coming into the into the day. He was a game time decision. Yeah. Actually, he's my starting QB in fantasy, and I benched him, which I'm glad he did because because uh, he only got six points of fantasy in the game, and then my backup got seven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the Bengals are struggling right now, man. It's, yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, they did what they needed to do this game. I. I think there was an like an air around the team when Burrow got hurt in the preseason. And I feel like you can kind of tell the way they were talking about it that it was one of those like non serious but like long term yeah, injuries. Right. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they're trying to keep the hype up for what might be a doomed season just because Burrow is like long term injured. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's a it's a calf injury, I believe, right? With uh mm-hmm. with Burrow. I think so, yeah. I think it's a calf. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look this up because I, I I wonder if it's on his plant leg or on his because if it's on his plant leg that would explain a lot actually. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so I mean, and on the other side, Matt Stafford looking uh, look a little old. <laughs> uh, he's getting wouldn't... old. He got his ring, man. Like he can go yeah. now. Yeah. You can he, get out of here, man. He got sacked like, six times. Not great. Got, got the ring, got the money, man. You're 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 good. Got the yeah. AT&T commercial. Yeah. Why not into the sunset, man? Like, uh, he's probably going to get a contract immediately to uh, broadcast too. Or, you know when he leaves. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, it's they went one of eleven on third down. That's a rough one. Yikes. Um, yeah. So I mean, overall, this is uh, this was uh, like you said, it was a boring game. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the Bengals just. It was it was six to six at halftime, uh, and then the Bengals just scored just enough to win by three. Barely Ooh. eked it out. I will okay, say, so uh, Puka had seventy two yards. Yeah, Puka's really good. Great. Yeah, he's been very impressive all year. Yeah. The uh, so by the way, it is indeed a lower right leg injury. So yeah, that is his plant plant, that's plant foot. foot. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's, that's, that's a problem. Rough. Yeah, it's rough. Um, but Bengals needed this game, and uh, I had a feeling they'd win, even if it was in a very poor fashion. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, those were the games of the week. Mm-hmm. On to the week. Power rankings. Oh, we got to get uh, one of the. What was that uh, game where they run through the hidden temple and Nickelodeon? Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah, yeah. Legends Legends of the hidden temple. Temple. they oh, run yeah. through the hidden temple. The video game. <laughs> yeah. What was the game where they're in this hidden 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 temple? It's legendary, I think. And... Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, yeah. we got to get one of those stone face pre- people to speak in to, to announce segments. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. We got to hire like the that. dude that did that voice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is he alive? <laughs> Um, Probably, I don't know. We just got to get Olmec to do it, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's what he's talking about, Olmec. Yeah. He said, do with the painted face. Olmec is a statue made of stone. No, he said the, the statue, didn't he? Oh, I yeah, thought he yeah, said one face, of the dudes man. with the paint. Oh, I thought he was the main dude. You know, know the, the main voice. hidden yeah, temple. The yeah, the guy who's like, you yeah, have yeah. to go through the temple. Yeah, go through Olmec. the temple gates. Right, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. The shrine of the Sioux Monkey. Power ranking. Power ranking. Power ranking. The top yeah. five teams of the NFL Robert. power rankings, starting with Robert. Uh, I'm going to go with the San Francisco 49ers. That is correct, Bear. Let's go, Kansas City Chiefs. That is correct, Apollo. Miami no fans. That is correct, Rob. Uh, let's go with the Philadelphia Eagles. That is correct, Bear for the dunk. I'm going to say Buffalo Bills. That is correct. Wow. Those are the five <laughs> best teams in the league. I, I have no disagreements teams. for once. No, that's yep. totally right. Usually yeah. I'm like, Dan, you're not here anymore. But Dan, hands is, look at my yeah. hands. No, that's you just still correct. We still and, yeah. Come on, Dan. Uh, all right. Now we have the thinnest dinks. We have two thinnest dinks Ooh, this shit. week. Mm-hmm. Buckle up. Uh, mm-hmm. Let us... <laughs> <laughs> you got a uh, dink on on its way. Dink on its way. So we have uh, really just anybody. Anybody want to guess the two thinnest dinks? Hmm. Let's Give see. me the Colts. Eh. Wow. 
I'm gonna try out. Oh, there's the, an obvious uh, one. I think I know which one it is. Uh, no, you go ahead. Go ahead. Take it. The Green the Bay what? Packers. That no? is correct. What? Yeah. One of them is the Green Bay Packers going from was... 18 up to 10. I was gonna say the Arizona Cardinals. That is wrong. <laughs> they beat the Cowboys and they were in like last. Yeah, but they're uh, they horrible. weren't trying. They weren't trying. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, fine. How's, how's about how's about the the Seattle Seahawks? Oh, okay. The okay. Texans? That is correct. The oh, Houston yeah. Texans going from 12, 31 to 23. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's a also, thin dink, dude. The the Cardinals went from uh 30 they rose 7. So they were one away from being a Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. I didn't yeah. realize it was an 8 point dink. Yeah, that's a lot of lot of dink. A lot of big dink. A lot of dink. But man. we got some fat doinks coming in. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. Fat, fat doinks down in Amish? <laughs> we got two fat doinks. Rest in peace, man. Two fat <laughs> yeah. Amish doinks right here. All right. What do we got? <laughs> Um. Ooh. Wow. Can the uh, the Broncos go lower? They can drop Where any were further, they? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they remember. were a fat doink. <laughs> wow. Has gone from twenty three right. to thirty one. Oh, it was man. eight. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, how about yeah, yeah. the uh, How about the Minnesota Vikings? Good try, but oh, all right. Let's Who go the with the, oh, the Chicago Jaguars. Bears. Uh, they were already uh, down there. Oh, yeah. Jags is a good guess. Maybe the Jags. Uh, Oh, oh man. Mm. Maybe it was the Cowboys. This one's Could pretty be. obvious. Is it the Giants? No. no. Is it the Jets? Yes, it is. Oh, the all right. Jets. Yeah. Falling from still... 11 down to 19. Why were we oh. still at 11? Why were they 11? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's the question. But, Ed, what the <laughs> hell is wrong with you, man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the second they said they still believed in Zach, he was like, get the fuck down <laughs> there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go into the questions. We're going to start with Apollo. All right, oh. true or false? With the Texans moving up eight spots this week, they are no longer the lowest rank AFC South team. Oh, I oh, so there are they above the Titans or the Jags? Oh, I would that's it true. It is indeed true. The Texans oh. move ahead of the Colts, who, despite leading their division at 2 1, are the lowest ranked AFC <laughs> South team. <laughs> Why? The, the Titans got three points, though. Okay, I don't know about this Dan Hansis replacement, man. Yeah, Edward, I don't know about this Edward, we're going to have words. That is something. Uh, now we have Bear. There is only one team that has doinked fallen in rank every week this season. Name that team. <laughs> the oh, New no. York Jets. <laughs> that is incorrect. Oh, no. Wow. How? Uh, geez, uh, da has Bears. anyone been watching nope. the games? <laughs> da oh, Broncos? is it the, the Broncos? Yeah. Nope. What? What? Huh. It is. The oh, Minnesota Jack? Vikings. The uh, Vikings. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, From that makes sense. 15 mm -hmm. to 17, the 22, and now 26. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't similar. even think they're that bad, though. I don't, <laughs> I don't think really so either. either. They'll, they'll I think this Ed here. guy needs some. Uh, yeah, this Ed guy needs is, a year <laughs> under his belt. Yeah, he needs some <laughs> experience here. Uh, yeah. Similar rookie, rookie power ranker. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, get, let him, get, get him those bad throws. <laughs> now we're going in reverse. <laughs> Similar, there's only one team that is dinked every week. Name that team. Oh, mm. that's tougher. Mm hmm. Yeah. The Dolphins? Nope. That's a good guess. Is it, uh, is it the Seahawks? Nope. No. Mm. It's, a kind of, it's kind of a tricky one. The Eagles? Nope. No, because mm. they were like, they started high and then fell yeah. that one. Yeah. Oh, right. Because yeah. they like almost didn't win. Um, yeah. Who? I don't know, man. That's hard. The Bucks? It is indeed the Buccaneers. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Well, so they went up this week, even though they yeah. lost and they looked went really bad. From twenty-eight to twenty-four to twenty-one to twenty. That's yeah. a lot. Went up one. It's an increase. I mean, that might be where they are this year. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. Uh, and now we have Rob. Yes, sir. The Cleveland Browns are ranked uh, ninth this week. Ugh. So, true or false, this is the first time in the Hansus Ed Holm era of the NFL power rankings, five seasons, that the Cleveland Browns have been ranked in the top ten. 
Wow. Um, I know what I would false. say. I, I agree. That yeah. is correct. The yeah. Cleveland Browns were ranked eighth in week 14 of 2020 yeah. and remain in the top 10 for 11 straight weeks. This is the first was, time they have reached since then. That was when they had Baker Mayfield in his rookie yeah, year, right? It right, was. Dude. Yeah. Good yeah. times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they were like, nah, fuck you. We want this piece of garbage instead. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have one more wacky one here. Uh, the three teams whose nicknames begin with S, Saints, Seahawks, and Steelers, are all two and one. They comprise ranks 12, 14, and 16. But in what order? Ooh. I totally wait, zoned wait, out. Wait, wait was Steelers, that, Seahawks, yeah. what was the other one? <laughs> Seahawks, Saints. Saints, Steelers. I think Seahawks, Saints, Steelers. I think Saints, Seahawks, Steelers. I'm going to say Seahawks. Steelers Saints. Okay, we got all our bases covered. It yeah. is Seahawks Saints Steelers. I got it. Got it. Damn, I got it. was right. Yeah, he knows damn damn it. all the hell. <laughs> he knows Dan at home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they've, they've actually fused they got the batari yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh big shout out to pixelhaven for hooking us up with those power ranking questions every week now and yeah his yeah. absence as well that mm -hmm. is true also I'm going to throw in a couple fun stat facts. Oh, stat facts. Stat facts. Stat facts. Wow. Stat facts. <laughs> That's the and guitar, so, electric guitar. Yeah, yeah I got gotcha. you. This quarterback has been sacked 19 times this year. Who is Oof. it? Sam Howell. You yeah. got it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we got a little preview Howell. of that. Yeah. Samuel uh, Howell. This quarterback has thrown six interceptions leading the league. Sam Howell. Close. He's got five. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, <laughs> who's thrown? Uh, 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 Jeez, I don't know. Nope. Uh, Justin don't know. Fields? Nope. Good guess. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, this is probably like surprise. Oh, you know, it's probably Josh Allen. Nope. Uh, it's not. Oh, That's not a good guess. Yeah. But it is Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, <laughs> he did throw. He threw three in the game against yeah. the Steelers. Goofy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there you go. That's some fun stats. Good thing they moved on from Derek Carr. Because didn't Josh Allen throw yep. like four in the first game of the season? Yeah, <laughs> throw three. Yeah. 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 Oh, we got one more big stat bag. Here we go. This player has the most touchdowns scored in the NFL at seven, leading everyone else behind him at four. Ooh. Oh, uh, Tua. Nope. Like, oh, uh, hey. this is what? like rushing touchdowns and receiving touchdowns combined. Oh, oh. is it? Uh, oh, is it Mostert? It is indeed Raheem wow. Mostert. Yeah, because he scored a bunch. Yeah. Last Seven weeks. touchdowns for Raheem Mostert. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, I mean, that's two, for a year. Wait, didn't Tua throw five? Oh, no, Tua didn't throw five because uh, Mike White threw one. They brought yep. Mike White in, yeah. Yep. Yep. So there you go. There you, Mike. Everyone Please. knew Raheem Mostert can be leading the league in touchdowns. Naturally. Naturally, yep. yes. Uh, all right, here we go. It is time for pick 'em. Pick 'em. Pick 'em. Pick 'em. Pick 'em. Featuring this week's assistant coach of the week, Alpha Something. Uh, we'll also be going over uh, previous week's picks, which featured. Oh, I just had it pulled up. Damn it, where'd it go? It disappeared. <laughs> Carisu, uh, uh, Carisu, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who went nine and eight last week? An admirable record, especially uh, considering the uh, missed lock yet again, thanks to the Cowboys bungling it against the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you'd like to be selected to be an assistant coach, we can have your picks featured on the podcast. You can check out the Patreon link down in the description. If you're watching on YouTube, or just go to patreoncom slash three guys and a bear. You can play it to the assistant coach tier, and you could possibly be featured on the show. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ugh. Also, uh, looking at the uh, stats here, uh, Chibli went four and thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I loved what he said. Chibli did a great job picking which teams would lose. He really did. <laughs> yeah, he did. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Man. amazing. Yeah, admirable. If he had liked pirates, he would have been two and fifteen. So that's, that's a good, it's a good thing he didn't like yeah, pirates because yeah. that affected yeah. two of his picks. Uh, so I went nine and eight. Rob went nine and eight. A bear went yep. ten and seven. Apollo went mm -hmm. twelve and five. Yeah. Randy five and twelve. Oof, uh, yep. Discord twelve and five. 
Uh, and Kurizu had nine and eight. Yep. Yeah. So bringing the assistant coaches to 29 and 19 on the year, uh, right in line with pretty much the, the whole show apart from the discord, which is absolutely crushing it this year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah it's easy when you that. just pick the betting line. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that can't be Lock it. the best team every week instead <laughs> yeah. of having some fun with it. Uh, no, no, <laughs> yeah, who would lock that? Uh, I well, still can't see, believe I you, guys, it, yeah. you guys gave me the 1v3 on the Falcons, man. I couldn't believe that. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't yeah. pick the Lions, to be honest. Uh, yeah. So we have uh, two corrected bonus stats, actually. Hold on. So we got prime opportunities. Apollo and Randy are nearly perfect predicting prime time games this season. Apollo 10-1, and one, Randy 10-1, and one, Bear 9-2, and two, Discord 8-3, and three, AC's 8-3, and three, Rob 7-4, and four, and me 6-5. Uh, mm. Apollo has picked the higher ranked team in the NFL power rankings in 72.9% of games this season, followed oh. by all three of me, Rob Barrett, 70.8 discord, 68.8. And then AC is 65.6. Randy, so, 50%. Randy, <laughs> Randy, Randy, Randy. Randy. <laughs> That's Dude, great. So I, I just want to point out, we, we, if we're closer to Ed, then we, we do worse because the discord's beating us. True. Yeah. Yeah. That's so true. fucking I, I Ed's got us Ed. again. God damn it, Ed. God, God damn it. Shit. Got us by the balls. Piece of shit, Ed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, on the shelf, Bear is the third ever to pick against a team for more than 20 straight games. Discord, Texans, 34. Mm. Sinvicta, Jets, 29. And Bears, 21 is a mystery currently. <laughs> Who is it? Yeah. What if it's the Bears? I don't oh, know. No, I think I, I definitely picked the oh, Bears. Oh, yeah, he's definitely picked the Bears. Uh, That's true. I can see that. I think it also might be the Texans. I, I, I continue to pick against them pretty well, regularly. Well, no, I feel like it's different because they aren't showing it. Right. Could they? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's, yeah. This, this, yeah we're, I'm going to do a little studying on that. I'll come do back a little study. Mm -hmm. uh, Crendor is now 14 and 3, predicting 49ers in September. There's best predicted September team. Wow. Yeah. All three, Wait, incorrect, it is. <laughs> all three incorrect predictions were against B name teams: Bengals, Bears, Broncos, and two guys, of them guys, were lost. Guys, I know yeah. who it is. Look at the well, picture. Look what's in oh. between the right ear, the the right ear and the right arm. It's a little right. face mask oh. of the Browns. Oh, oh shit! shit. You're right, oh, and that's shit. a deserved streak that will continue in perpetuity. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that checks out. That makes sense. Uh, oh, he's so tiny. That is very. Tiny. I know he's so subtle. I love that. I can't, I, I dude. I too. actually can't even work. It's like pixels. Yeah, <laughs> for me. Yeah. Uh, no good options. Falcons and Lions are now tied as Rob's least pick team with twenty one yep. picks each all time. Twenty five point six percent pick rate. When picking the Falcons, Rob is ten and eleven. When picking the Lions, he is eight, twelve, and one <laughs> in their three matchups. Rob is two and one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So hey. this is this is why I don't pick the Lions. Yeah, I guess I so. <laughs> uh, unless they're playing the Falcons. Unless they're playing the Falcons. Yes, Falcon. right, yeah. And assistant coaches are now 0-3 when locking Cowboy games, as deserved. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> uh, ACs have historically struggled on locks. Lock games 6-5, and non-lock 25-15. Wow. So, yeah. That's interesting. Um, so there we go. Let's pick them stats. And now it's time for pick ems. Oh, baby. I didn't actually look at the games this week, so I don't know. I didn't either. I never do. <laughs> well, we got some interesting ones, starting with Packers-Lions in Green Bay Ooh. Thursday night. It's it's the Lions year. I'm picking the Lions. I, I'm actually not sure. I think it's going to be a really close game. We know uh, who you're divisional. picking, Grandor. Well, listen, I'm taking the Packers. All right, we got yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guy. <laughs> I I'm going to go. go a step further. I'm going to say this is a blowout. Wow. Whoa. I think the Lions thrash the Packers in Lambeau. I, I will also be picking the Detroit Lions. All right. All you right. know what? I got burned last week, so I'll pick the Lions, too. But All right. I'm going to be mad if I get burned this week, Lions. I'll be that's, mad. I'll that's the one v 4 for coach for the pack as a result yeah. of our assistant coach also going with the Lions. All right. Oh, yeah. I love it. Just the uh, just it's like the Aaron Rodgers quote. Just don't believe. Don't believe I can do it. Watch my cryo chamber <laughs> <laughs> Packers come out of the 800 below. I got to move on. Falcons, <laughs> Jaguars. <laughs> Boy, this is a tenth and lock. I'm not gonna lie, dude. 
like the Jags look like picking dog shit right the now. Jaguars. Wow, that's yeah. because it's in London, and oh. Jags are the London home team. Ooh, that is that's, that's certainly a good a, point. A I also think that they're better than what they look like. I think they're they're gonna get it together. I gotta go Falcons here. Uh What's the Jaguars run defense looking like across three weeks? Anybody I, know? That's a good question. Uh, team defense NFL stats. Here we go. The call is very important to us. The Jags currently sitting at seventh overall with 84 yards allowed per game on the ground. Not bad. That's pretty good. You know what? I'm going Jaguars. Yeah, I'll take the Jags. I'll wow, I, thought I, was gonna, I thought I was going to get the one before. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, nope. it is the assistant coach going with me here as well, so it's going to yeah. be 2v3 with the Falcons. That's true. Yeah. Rams, Colts. Uh, Ooh, boy. Uh, is Richardson coming back? Don't know. Um, he was only concussed, so yeah. probably, right? Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, even with Minshew, I think I still might take the Colts here. Yeah. yeah I mean, they're looking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going AC Colts. Alpha something has gone Rams. I think I will also be going Rams here. Oh, all Richardson's right, all right. still in concussion protocol. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna but go with we'll the Rams. Weird. Oh, I uh, Yeah, I'm gonna go. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Rams. I'll <laughs> go with the Rams. All right, I got the Rams. All right, I'll take it. I'll take I think that. Cooper Cup is coming back too. What right? a what a a lot of disagreement this week. Hey, a lot of disagreement. It's weird, there. man. It's, it's the, the week of the three, you know? Week, <laughs> it's week four, It Rob. sure is. It's week, week four. four. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not, but right. <laughs> uh, Ravens, Browns. Ravens. <laughs> what the hell was that sound? That was Artie. <laughs> it was rah rah ra is the thing. Uh, the rah rah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to take the rah rah Ravens. Yeah, okay, the Ravens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, that convinced me. I, I guess I'll take the Ravens, too. I, yeah. Uh, the uh, Alpha coach picked the taken... Browns. Yeah, the Browns. Oh, Ew. Gross. Um, Vikings, Panthers. Vikings. I'm Vikings. going to lock the Vikings. That's wow. wow. Yeah. They I, do need to win. They like need that. to win this game. The Panthers are not good. They're... I just I think the Vikings win, and if they lose, then I laugh at them. So I win either way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's Vikings here. Alpha also went Vikings. Uh, Leaves Rob. I think it's an obvious choice. They can't. It? They can't go zero and four with that team. There's no way. right. There's no uh, way. Yeah, but I mean the well. All right, fine. Yeah, Vikings. But I'm. It's peer pressure. Put an asterisk. It's peer pressure. <laughs> You don't uh, have to put an asterisk. Yeah, right. don't do that. <laughs> Bengals, Titans, Bungles. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, they're, they're both on the on the back foot right it now. It depends on yeah. like how injured is Burrow, man. Yeah. Oh, it's the plant to be on the back foot. Strain. Yeah. So it's a it's a calf strain. Um, I'll take the I'll take the Titans. I kind of want to take the Titans, honestly. <laughs> People people see a team only score three points and they're like, wow, this team's dog shit. But then that team usually comes back and like, I don't know, does bad. Like, NFL's weird. Weird things yeah, happen. Yeah. Yeah, the dude. Bengals have also had one of the worst run defenses, so it could be a Derrick Henry game. Yeah, and the oh, Browns okay. have a good defense too. So yeah, I'm going Titans. I'm going to take. Okay, Titans. okay. Wait, wait. So are you guys all Titans? No. I went Bengals. Yeah. As did our assistant coach. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, I had some milk before the I see. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Spangles. The Spangles. The Spangles. The Spangles. So the, what team do you want for this match? Because the oh, Spangles are in a different I would take the Stitem. <laughs> <laughs> are you really choosing? No, I, I well now I'm not sure. I've, I've lost my decisive. I'll take the Bengals. I'll take the Bengals. Right, the Bengals. Okay. Okay. Uh Buccaneers Saints. Hmm. Is what was Derek Carr's injury? A, oh. I believe it's an AC joint in his shoulder. Oh. Is he questionable? Right I now? think he is questionable. Yes. Let me look it up. I'll. Ooh. Diagnosis revealed. Uh oh. Uh, 
they say we dodged a bullet, but it says week to week. I'll take the Bucks. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take the Saints because I actually think Jameis Winston will play good against the Buccaneers because it's his old team. Important yeah, to note, sense. Alvin Kamara is coming back this week, too. Oh, oh is he? Yeah. Okay, I'm taking okay. the Saints. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I'll um, stick with the Bucks. Alpha right. also went Bucks. I, yeah, I'll take the Saints. I believe in Alvin Kamara. I think he can right. run away with it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Baker Mayfield, Baker Mayfield, shake it back, baby. Dolphins, Bills. There is game no the way I am picking against the team that just scored 70 yeah. fucking points, dude. <laughs> Dolphins, no doubt. I'm yeah. taking the Bills. Wow! <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, take you, you have to believe the, the NFL's weird. It's NFL weird. is weird, but this the Bills division, lost is, to the Jets. This is a divisional <laughs> game. The, the anything can happen. It's gonna yeah. be wacky. There's gonna be turnovers. It's gonna be May. Someone's gonna get injured. <laughs> it. Uh, it's. <laughs> I'm taking the Bills. I kind of want to take the Bills too. Actually, I think it's at Buffalo, so I kind of like that for them. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna show up big. So I'm taking the Bills. I'm, I'm taking the fish. The fish just scored 50 more. <laughs> Those than are not fish running. in any sense. Of the word. <laughs> they are a fish. That they is a mammal. A, if they are in the water, they are a <laughs> fish. A damn fish. That is somehow even more wrong than <laughs> that is sense how it is. You, you just you like wanna, knocked out like turtles talk, and talk otters and like fish. bacteria and <laughs> people are too. Fish. Now. Oh, if you, you get into the water, you are a fish. Yeah, the I'm moment not... you enter the ocean, you become a fish. That's just you won't way. see me in the sick. ocean. <laughs> yeah, it'd um, be sweet. <laughs> we have the game of the oh, week. Game of the week. God damn, game of the Bears. Bears. Dude, big big time props to our assistant coach Alpha for locking the Broncos <laughs> here. That, yeah. that is a bold move. That is bold. bold. I think I agree, and I will I'm, take the Broncos. I'm oh, yeah, Broncos I gotta take the Broncos. Too. I don't think there's any world I can pick the Bears. After <laughs> I mean, no. It is funny that I'm picking the team that just had 70 points scored yeah. on them. At, at right. least the Broncos game, but... issues are remaining on the field, right? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great point. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where their coaching staff is going to be in a jail cell, you know, next, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> next week. And Sean Payton Maybe the rest of them probably down. wills like Russell Wilson to like at least one win against the Bears this season, right? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I could see yeah. it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'll um, take the Broncos too. All right. Commanders, Eagles. Welcome the Eagles. Eagles. Oh, oh you. Well, yeah. I will take uh, the Eagles as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking the Eagles. <laughs> But it's a divisional game. It is a divisional game. Eagles. Hey, I'm the guy who picked the Commanders last year against the Eagles and was <laughs> fucking right. And everyone was like, oh, fucking quit. It's not going to happen this time. Yeah. There is part of me that wants to take the Commanders, but I'm trying. Have to... you guys seen Jalen Carter? Like, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, he's insane. Like, yeah. he's ranked at, like, one of the best defensive linemen, and he's a rookie. Uh, uh, I'll also win Eagles. Eagles clean sweep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Steelers, Texans. Dude, I'm thinking about it. I think this <laughs> Texans team is showing some life. Dude, I'm thinking it too. I'm going Texans. Let's go. Wow. I didn't believe in my team last week, and I didn't pick them, and they won. I'm going to believe in them this week and pick them, so they will lose if that affects your decision. I'll oh, pick sweet. Yeah, I'll pick Texans then. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, you've added magic <laughs> into the equation, and now <laughs> it has influenced my mind. Um... I don't believe so. I'm taking the Steelers anyway. All right. Okay. As will our assistant coach Alpha. All right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't like that one. Raiders, Chargers. Come on, Chargers. Chargers. Get it together. Yeah, it's got to be the time. Chargers, right? Yeah. It's got uh, assistant it's coach also. I don't know if it's ever going to happen. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I'll take the Chargers. Yep. Is that everyone? Yeah, uh, okay, a get, get get your hands on your buzzers, guys. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cardinals 49ers. No wow, one's no gonna one? do it. Come on, really? I'll I mean, I have good shit. I have one that I'm thinking of. Oh, and no, I'm doing that one, tell. Rob. So you can have this one. Uh, All right, I'll lock okay, the 49ers. Right. There, okay, there you go. Yeah, I'll take the yeah. I will take the 49ers. We'll take the Niners. I, I, the I will say that I thought for a second about taking the Cardinals. 
but I will take the 49ers. Yeah, no, come okay. on. No. Well, that's good. It's a divisional game. <laughs> it's a divisional I'm game. Taking the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, okay, oh, I'm glad someone did because I, I, <laughs> I don't think the 49ers are bad. I think that they are going to every team, no matter how good they are, has that game where they're like, "Whoop the fuck!" Yeah, that's yeah. true. And I think this might be it. So yeah. I'm, I'm still gonna take the Niners though, because yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, I think this could be it too. That's why I'm just I'm thinking Cardinals. All right, the one yeah. before for coach. Yep. Alpha also I've got yeah. there's numerous one before's this week. Oh boy, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patriots Cowboys. This is hmm. two teams that I think are both overrated in different <laughs> ways. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know, but I will take the Cowboys because I think they're the better team, and I think the Patriots are bad. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Uh, I'm they gonna also, Patriots. Well, okay, so one point of contention I will say is that, keep in mind, the Patriots are missing their entire secondary. Yes. Now, that didn't matter against the Jets in any way at all, but it will think, matter yeah. against the regular football team. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. All right, yeah. yeah, you know what? I'm going Cowboys. I, I gotta go Cowboys here too. Yeah, yeah. Alpha with Cowboys. the Pats pick. That's uh, a yes, bold yeah, choice. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Uh, yeah. So that's four v one Cowboys to Pats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. That'd be funny if they prove us wrong. That would be funny, especially because Rob would have then talked me out of it. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> Chiefs, Jets. Log on the Chiefs. Yep. Yeah. Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, it's just so funny. This is supposed to be the Aaron Rodgers oh, yeah. matchup yeah. yeah. on Sunday night, and they're like, "Fuck, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. screwed." This is gonna be horrible. Who is? It's Collinsworth, right? So it's just, you know. Oh, oh no! Oh. 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 oh, oh, this is. I don't. I don't think. Oh. I might not even watch this game. I don't want to hear yeah. him talk I, about. No. Mahomes. He's just gonna be throating Mahomes the whole game oh, and so talking about how shitty annoying. the Jets are. You yeah, know, right off the bat, be... he's gonna be like, "Nah, if Aaron Rodgers was quarterback, he probably yeah. makes right. Throw. Yeah, right. <laughs> bro. Oh. When he when he was talking about the Steelers, he just like it's. I didn't realize he did it. It's every time the Steelers play Sunday night. You know, the St- here's a team that likes to ground and pound like. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Steelers got to get back to their run game. It's who they are. It's not the fucking 70s, Collinsworth. <laughs> Jerome Bettis retired over a fucking decade ago. Get off yeah. here. Like, stop. Stop. Yeah. Ground and pound. That'd be Ground a chief pound, sweep maybe. with Alpha also selecting. Yep. See, you know, I was thinking about, sorry, one thing I will say is that the Jets actually have a bunch of primetime games this year, which mm-hmm. is hilarious, but also, like, it... it a couple of them are against like really good teams, so they can't really flex them because obviously those teams don't want to get out of. Prime yeah, they're going to be one. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> this yeah. year. It's going to be yeah. bad. Yeah. Um. Then we have the Seahawks Giants Monday night. Geno season. Yeah, I'll, take, Gino I'll take Geno season. Geno season. Yeah, I'll go Geno season. What I actually you? decided that I think I might be a Seahawks fan this year. Let's go. Yeah. The Jets are hey, home. If, well. if the Steelers bottom out, I'm rooting for the Lions. Yeah. Go. Yeah. I'm rooting for the Lions too, but also, yeah. Geno's. Another season. clean sweep. Seahawks take the board. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, Randy. 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 Who did very poorly in the pick of the last year. a great week. Yeah. Five right. and 12. Here he we go. Pick the Bears, didn't he? Uh, yes, so, he yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Randy's going Lions. Mm-hmm. Randy's going uh-huh. Falcons. Mm-hmm. Okay. Randy's uh-huh. going Colts. Mm-hmm. Randy's mm-hmm. going Browns. Boo. Boo. Randy's Boo. going Panthers. Okay, oh, Randy. Wow. Oh, Randy. Randy. Randy's going Titans. I figured. Randy's Randy. going Saints. Yeah. Okay. Bills. Okay. Wow. Broncos. Ah! Commanders. Don't do it, Randy. Randy. There it is, that commander pick. Uh, Texans. Oh, boy, Randy. Raiders. Randy. <laughs> Cardinals. Randy. Jesus, Randy. He's going to pick the fucking Jets. Cowboys. Oh, my uh, God. Here comes. Here comes. Chiefs. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Well, smart and well, thanks Seahawks. for not lying. Yep. Yeah. And Seahawks. All right, cool. Yep. Seahawks. Okay. Yep. Season. Yeah. Right. Well, well, lock. I, I'm not going to lie on Randy. Randy is what he is. I don't know. I, I yeah, can't you mess got, with you that. You got to present him as such. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the lock is, hold on, I can count, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 4, 16 games. 
Here it is. The lock is game number five, which would be the Panthers. Lock <laughs> oh, of the Jesus. Panthers. Oh, baby. Oh, That's boy. That's a lock right there. Love he's that. the dude. He's doing the counter lock. I locked the Vikings. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Didn't he do that to you last week, too? He might have. I actually don't know. He, he counter locked someone, I feel like. Yes, he counter locked Bear last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, well, oh, no, was, no, that was he, one of the, bo the bonus stat was like in the divisional picks, right? Not necessarily like against the locks. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. And, and I was wrong anyway. He didn't counter lock. He he locked with you. You both oh, locked yeah, the Jags. Yeah. yeah oh, lost. right. Yeah. God damn it. Let's God, see, everyone took Jags. We had two locks, 97% on Discord. <laughs> Chibley even took the Jags. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's been no counter lock. This is the first Randy locking against someone else lock uh, the no. whole season. So we'll see. All right. Uh, all right. Well, that is it. Those are the football things. Here are patrons. Go check out Patreon. Patron. Thank you, Patreon. Thank you, Patreon. Uh, wow, wow. There it is. And I love that patron right there. That's my favorite. That's patron. a good one. Yep. Oh, yep. yeah. That one right there. He's oh, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll have to suffer with me in Sunday <laughs> night football. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>